seven. Hello, hello, welcome to stream, welcome in Emmy. Seven months, thank you, thank you for seven months. My God, that's a hell of a way to open up. That's a shot in the arm right there. Hello, hello, welcome in Harpy, I love you too. That's a that's a, that's a a welcome shot in the arm. Thank you, Emmy, I appreciate that. Um, if I keep looking down, it's because, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of obsessing right now. I'm kind of stimming. Um, because if you're like me, you have, you have your, yeah, yeah, we're doing last epic today, Adina. So, um, which I'll which I'll talk about. I'll talk about that in a hot minute. Um, I'll work on your doc. <laughs> valid, valid. I mean, let's get in line. Let's get in line, dude. Harpy is working on. I mean, it's an insane fucking document. It's like six hundred goddamn pages. The thing she's working on. But but boys, Harpy's Harpy's trials are coming to an end. She's um, she's so close to getting this project out the door very close and um and that's all we're really gonna say about it so just you know keep her keep keep our girl in your thoughts keep our girl in your mind and uh and send some positive vibes her way because you know she's in the trenches right now trying to get this bitch birthed and and get it on its way and she's gonna do it she's gonna do it and uh and then then we're gonna have some we're gonna have a we're gonna have a little drink afterwards you know what i mean our girl's gonna drink and she's gonna have a great weekend and it's gonna be lovely it's gonna be lovely it's gonna be a well-deserved break weekend um, so, so I'm, I'm, I, I keep looking down because I'm, I'm fucking stimming and freaking out as I have been. Um, because if you're like me, you got, you got your favorite things, right? You got your favorite things. So here's, here's an example of a favorite thing I have. Okay. This is unrelated. This is a screwdriver. Look at it. It's fucking old. See how old it is. It's all, you know, like that thing is ancient, dude. It's got some wear and tear. It's rusty. You know, great screwdriver, fucking great screwdriver. It's very, very old. It's about a hundred years old, give or take. No joke, literally about a hundred years old. It's a hand-me-down, okay? Um, makes me giggle when you say it like epic, but everyone else uh, I hear talk about says epoch. Um, you can, uh, both pronunciations are valid. Um, generally in time, it is probably more common now to say epoch but um old fuckers like me we grew up and and time you called it epic it was an epic um so it, it's more of an age thing it's kind of like how um in in modern language um in modern u.s english it's really common now to drop n to drop the letter n from things for example 
or T rather. Um, yeah, excuse me. It's, it's really, uh, if you have an N and a T, it's very, very common to drop the T. For example, important. Most people don't say important. They say important, important. I am P-O-R-N-A-N, important. So older folks, we still pronounce those, t we still pronounce those T's, those hard T's. Um, my e-reader, my reader only understands pronouncing an epoch. Um, I believe it. I mean, it's, it's very, that's very much like the accepted thing now. And it's just, that's, I, 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 yeah, I was taught different. So it sticks with me. I'll try and correct it, but it's going to take a long time for me to do that. So anywho, anywho, um, um, best tool, best tool. I have uh, one of my favorite tools, one of my favorite things is a sandalwood comb, beard comb that Harpy got me. And it's got really, really fine teeth on one side and pretty coarse teeth on the other. And, and those of you with hair, you know, probably, you probably know that the difference between brushing your hair with plastic and the difference between brushing your hair with wood or bristles, like actual fine bristles, very different experience, right? Totally different results. And, um, and generally speaking, like a plastic comb, you kind of want to maybe shy away from and, and, you know, wood comb feels much better. You know, it's more expensive, but so I've had this thing for, for a hot minute and it's gotten well infused with like oil, beard oil. I don't mean like my oils, my skin oils. I mean like the oil that you put in a beard. So, and it's sandalwood. So it smells nice. It's all manly and shit. And, uh, and it's fucking missing. It's gone. I lost it right before Peach and Titan came to visit um, the day before. I, I combed my shit up. I, I took a shower that morning. I combed my shit up and I cannot find it now. It's been MIA since Saturday. And so I keep looking at my desk. That, like, right now, I'm literally looking around my desk like it's got to be on my desk. I had to have used it here. Like, did the cat knock it down? So if you see me looking around and like like I'm lost, I promise you I'm just stimming on my fucking beard comb. So there's, there's, there's the tidbit on that beard comb. I'm missing my beard comb. Also, I don't have my beard in its little tie today. I figured I'd, I'd go, I'd go naked for you guys. So Stan stole it. He might've, um, Yeet does steal shit from desks. So he could have, but it's really rare for them. Stan will steal stuff. Like he'll steal these, these little, uh, ties like, oh my God, they'll both do that. But more likely than not, I probably knocked it down on the floor and I just can't find it because it, like it got skidded under a table or I don't know. I mean, I heard something go clittering out in the living room the other day and couldn't find it. I, I would never put it in the living room. I don't think because I use it in the bathroom after I shower or like, you know, when I'm in front of the mirror and then very rarely I'll use it at my computer desk because I can see myself, you know, I can look over on stream and go, Oh shit, let's get this, let's get this rat's nest in order in some semblance of order. We're, we're now at the phase where the sides are getting long again. And when that happens, I get annoyed with them. So I hack them down. I, I cut them down quite drastically. And, um, and so they're not long enough to like get folded in with the rest of the beard down lower. And so it's like, I'm trying this time to let them go. And I've managed to do that one time, but my beard got long enough and I started pulling it in my sleep and stuff. And like, I, you know, I'd flip over and I'd have like my elbow on it and yank it and it hurts. So I cut it off <laughs> mostly, but now, now that I tie it up, that's not a problem anymore. So I need to like work my way through and let the sides grow, but it's, it's hard because they're loose and they go everywhere and I don't like it. Um, so it's, it's that awkward. See, it's like if I were to grow out all this out, which I can't obviously like, look, there's nothing there, but if I had hair to grow it out from being this short again, you have to go through that awkward stage where it's, you know, too long to be too long to be short and too short to be anything good, you know? So anyway, um, what are we going to do today? We're going to do last epoch. That's going to fuck me up. Last epoch. We're going to do last epoch. Um, Harpy and I bought this game quite some time ago. Um, well over a year ago and played about 40 hours in it. A little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, it's changed quite a bit since then. Let's get it brought up here for you guys. Um, and let me also change this over to this and bring it down just a little. 
You know, I say that, but actually, I don't think I want even even lo-fi right now. Because I, I, I let's hear the game music, right? All right, let me find my game thing. This is one problem with playing windowed mode like this. I mean, it's good because I can see and you guys can see, but I have to change it every time. And usually I don't have the game open before stream. So there we go. This time I did. This time I did. All right, so here's the last, last epoch. And you should be getting audio from this as soon as I turn the audio in the game back up. Yep, good. Okay, audio is passing through. Okay, there we go. So here's Last Epoch. What the fuck is Last Epoch, you might be asking? Last Epoch is an action... Uh, it's, it's an ARPG, and depending on who you ask, that either means action role-playing game or adventure role-playing game. But basically, you can think Diablo, Path of Exile, uh, Grim Dawn, that kind of game. Isometric, you know, tilted isometric view, overhead kind of view, um, character, hordes of monsters, lots of loot... Um, and you're and you're chasing you're chasing stuff down. So that's that's the that's the thing. By the way, if you happen to have the game, we do have drops enabled. So by watching, um, you'll get to you'll get a you'll get I think a cloak today, and then tomorrow, if I were to stream tomorrow, which I don't currently plan to, but I don't know. I mean, if it pops off, I might. Um, there's another drop tomorrow, and there will probably be more later. The reason we're streaming this is because at long last, the game has reached version one. Now this game is. I think particularly interesting because it was started by a group of people, I think no joke with a Reddit post um, where they said like, hey, we have ideas about an ARPG because they were unhappy with the ARPGs that were out there. Um, I think the most succinct uh, definition, um, fuck, I can't remember how the Steam review put it, but it was something like, you know, if you hate Diablo 4 and don't have a PhD to decipher PoE, Path of Exile, this is the perfect game, you know, like for people who who don't want to like be a dumb down like Diablo 4 or object to like $70 horse armor, but who don't have the the like massive amount of knowledge you have to have to play modern PoE. This is a good this is good in between. Um, and the times I played it, um, like I was struck by the crafting system in particular, and that's been echoed like anything I've read about the game really praises its crafting system as just being absolutely stellar. Um, I did play a character in beta up to level cap and began the end game, but I didn't get deep into it. So I, I guess you could still pretty much say I'm a noob at it, and I think it'll be fun. So anyway, but the people who made the game didn't really know or didn't really they weren't impressed with the offerings out there. There were people who like maybe weren't happy with Diablo three. They weren't really happy with um, uh, with the path that Path of Exile was taking. You know, towards like these increasingly complex systems that were harder and harder to kind of parse out and master. Um, and and you know the, that you like like Poe is pretty famous for like you need to go off the game and like download a bunch of either you know spreadsheets or builds or whatever. Like it's not very forgiving. To experimentation and building in the game if you don't know what you're going to do um and at the time anyway and that may be different now but at the time that this game was conceived that was very much the case um and i think it's pretty much still the case but which is why poe2 is going to be interesting um if and when that that makes it around because you know that's something i'm sure they're gonna they're gonna try and mitigate because it is a barrier to new players so Anyway, Last Epic, Last Epic tries to get around that. It tries to have quick, satisfying combat, um, an innovative, interesting loot system, uh, skills that matter while being able to reward experimentation and not pigeonholing you into any one build. Um, I tried a few different builds on the same basic character and they were all really viable. Like they all worked really pretty well. And so it's a matter of figuring out how you like to play and finding the build that works well for how you want to play rather than there being a meta build and this is the one I'm going to do and I need to adapt my play style to it. You know what I mean? And I love that. I love that. So let's get in. Oop, I just nudged the E and I just realized he's under there. So let's just get in. The game finally went, the reason we're playing is it finally went version 1.0. It's out of early access now. It's now um, a full release game and um, let's get into it. The basic gist is that, um, I don't even know, like you're an adventurer, basically. You know, like the story is a little thin at points, which I mean, let's be honest, Diablo's original story was paper fucking thin. But um, the original, 
you go through you go through some stuff during the campaign and come to realize that there's like this void there's this force that's kind of consuming time and space and shattering the universe so you begin jumping around all these different epochs in time to try and save time and the universe itself oh basically you end up fighting gods i mean all kinds of crazy shit goes down and we're talking like pretty broad swaths like there's one you're in like ancient prehistory so it's like dinosaurs and shit and then you're in like you know it's all fantasy so it's not like you go to the future and it's like cars and guns or anything but i like poe but there's def meta builds etc you can't just wildly pick your starting character either exactly and i think that's one thing that this one does really well it, it really lets you kind of not fuck up at the beginning like poe when i played it aside from and i've talked about this like the sheer amount of stuff that comes flying at you there were like six or seven different currencies that came at me immediately bunches of different systems and quests that had nothing to do with like familiarizing a new player and it was very new player unfriendly and um so I, I was trying to figure that out and i just picked a few skills that sounded good and then went and looked and realized that i had already completely crippled my character by picking skills that looked good but later would be irrelevant to the meta builds and i would not ever like manage to do anything good with that character and you you still will i mean if you're not chasing you know the leaderboards or something but it um it definitely it it didn't feel good right it's like well fuck i've already played like seven eight hours and now to find out that I've hopelessly fucked it all up by just doing my best. Not my game style. Just not my game style. Um, and again, I, I think they've worked on that. I think they've, you know, put a little effort into the new player thing. But um, but that, that at the time was was my defining impression. And it's why I, I switched to this. And, and this was like when Diablo 4 was about to come out. Um, last Epoch was, I don't know, it was like in version 0.8 or something. Um, Harpy and I played it in point eight. They changed it a lot in point nine, and we haven't really played it there. And then it's changed a little more for one. So it's a bit different than it was when I played it. So let's find out. Uh, we need to make a character. So we're going to start with that. There are two types of characters you can make a legacy character and a cycle. A cycle is just a season character, like we all know. So we'll do that. So enter, enter game. Um, no, no characters found. Create new character. There we go. We'll create a cycle. Uh, you can pick wild, but you won't kill Ubers for sure. My POE build, I just summoned a bunch of minions, but I had build guide and goob helping me get gear. Without goob, I'd have been wildly lost. Yeah, that was that was us. I mean, I'm not, I'm no dummy, you know, about these games. I don't think I'm not a an epic player on my own. Um, I can certainly, you know, follow guides and shit. Um, I think it's safe to say you're enjoying this game. Thank you, Cumbox. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> that name. That name. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, I like being able to figure stuff out for a while and I want to, I want to be able to make it through a good chunk of the game before I feel the need to start looking shit up. That's something that like modern WoW, for example, like retail WoW, I think does pretty well. The game's really pretty forgiving until you get into like end game. And then it's like, okay, maybe now you should look up and like actually figure out your talents a little better and. But otherwise, like, you really can't screw it up too bad. You're going to do pretty good unless you just, like, intentionally pick the worst shit and, like, go out wearing the wrong armor, you know? Um, that's one thing that I think WoW, when they redesigned it, did did well at. Um, <clears throat> from, a, from a points and game perspective, you know, like, questing and, and the zones and all the shit coming at you, different thing, different thing. So, anyway, let's, let's dive in here. We'll make a cycle character. So... There are, uh, I don't know, something on the order of 15 classes. So you have five base classes here. And each one of them can spec into three, one of three master classes. And that's your final class. And you do that during the campaign. So you got this guy here um, who's a sentinel. And then he can become a void knight, a forge guard, or a paladin. He can't stay a sentinel. You just do that for a while. So all void knights also have the abilities of sentinels. All forge guards have the abilities of sentinels. You get the idea, right? So um, this is your sword and board warrior. You know, this is your big beefy um, armor wearing tanky, you know, bash things in the face kind of kind of dude. Um, and and you can go over all the skills and see what they all do and this and that. But so sword and board here. Void Knight is um, is going to be kind of a 
They absorb the powers of the void. They're like dark knights, you know, think like a knight with a little bit of magic thrown in, um, you know, uh, kind of like a drow sort of. Forge guards are like your upgraded, you know, just fucking knight, big beefy knight. And paladin, I don't think we need to explain paladins, right? A paladin's going to be a holy warrior of the light. Um, so, so there's our there's our sword and boards. And you got rogues. There are three different kinds of rogues. Afterwards, you get a blade dancer. So that's going to be your melee dagger sling and rogue. Marksman's going to be your archer and a falconer, which is a combination archer slash traps. And then you've got a really powerful uh, bird pet um, that you use, which that's brand new. I have not played rogue at all ever in Last Epoch. Mages, pretty obvious what a mage is going to be. Sorcerers are kind of going to be your classic Diablo 3 style mage. Like they have a lot of the same abilities like Black Hole and Static and um, a Blizzard and uh, a Fireball. Spellblades are mages with a melee focus. And then Rune Masters are mages with like kind of traps and like more long range dot abilities and like beams and things like that. Um, they're, they're pretty wacky. I have not played any of these. I've only played the mage a little bit. The uh, primalists are your, they're your clerics, basically, or I mean, not clerics, they're your um, naturey, I guess, is how I would call them. So they, they evolve into three types. You got your beast master, that's what I played to level cap. I played a beast master to the top. And then your shaman, who, so the beast master, you summon shitloads of pets, like, like just bajillions of minions. Um, the shaman is, uh, it's like a shaman in WoW, you know, earth, wind, air, fire. And then the druid is like very much like a druid in Diablo 2. You shapeshift and you're, you become a big beefy bear bastard and you fuck shit up yourself rather than via pets or spells. And then last but not least, the acolyte. So the acolyte is going to be your master of the dead. I mean, God damn, look at that shit, dude. I love the skeletons in this shit. And then you can evolve into a necromancer, straight up necromancer, D2 style. Um, Warlock, which I have not played. Um, I haven't played any of these. I wanted to. I think I've only done the Acolyte. And I was at the point where I was just about ready to go into Masteries. Um, so the, uh, the Warlock is like, I think, lots of chaos and lots of variable effects and lots of basically dots, I think. Let's see. Channeling, channel, lots of channeling, actually. Yeah, channeling and cursing. Lish is kind of cool. I think that sounds sort of interesting. I mean, you could be a fucking Lish. Like, all right, sign me up. Turn into a Reaper. So this is going to be like just basically you you will become death itself. And uh, and you, you wage war as death on the battlefield. Which sounds pretty fucking hot. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to play. Um, I mean, Sword and Board is kind of my go-to when in doubt. If you don't know, I do not do well generally on the first playthrough with glass cannons. Um, I, I do better with something that can stand and take an ass whipping. Pretty much everything in this game, I think, can in various degrees take an ass whipping. Like everybody's kind of designed with some self heal. Everybody's designed with some tankiness. Um, you know, it's it's very much built so that you do not have to play in a group, for example. Um, Stay a while and listen. <clears throat> which Diablo is this? Yes, this is Diablo Five. It's it's brand new Diablo Five. Welcome in, Orenfell. I, I'm breaking NDA. We got a brand new. Uh, we, we you know we're gonna super sacred vod. Uh, Diablo Five pre 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 alpha is what we're playing today. So uh, anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, does anything sound particularly interesting to you guys? We got Sword and Board Warrior. We got Rogue. We got Mage. We got um, uh, uh, Primalist. <clears throat> it's interesting that there's no like cleric, you know, that like the, the traditional cleric doesn't really exist in the in the usual fantasy way. And then we got uh, Acolyte, who's going to be your master of the dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Eventually, that's going to clear. Harpy's been been she's got a, a rough throat right now, too. I think both of us are just reacting some bullshit in the air. There is so much bullshit in the air right now. I'm kind of feeling I'm kind of feeling acolyte. I mean, I think that could be fun. Dealer's choice, very valid. I'm kind of feeling acolyte, <clears throat> but I'll be honest. Like Harpy played the Sentinel. Here's one of my only criticisms thus far with the game, um, is that you can't customize these characters. Like I would really love to be able to have a female Sentinel 
you can't. I would really love to be able to change this guy's appearance and make him lanky, you know, rather than this big burly dude. You can't. These appearances are what you get. Those are like D2. The characters are those characters. There are no there are no other gender options, no other appearance options in any way. And that's something I would like to see them change, but but I get why they didn't. I mean, it's it's just wild. Like six people who had no game design history at all started out to make this game and then grew into a team of I don't know how many people they have. I think they got like a little under 100 people now um, <clears throat> all over the world. Uh, artists and this and that. And uh, that's another thing. They've like drastically improved the, the graphics and apparently like they're much improved, which is wild to me because I thought the graphics were fucking great anyway. Um, so I don't know. I I'm going to say let's go with the Acolyte because let's let's fuck with the dead. So we're going to start off with the ability to have skeletons. We're going to be able to harvest things. Um, we'll get a bone curse. We'll get a volatile bomb zombie. A spirit plague. And we'll be able to, to pull up a burning shade. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so what is my necro's name? I have a standard necro name I always use and I can't remember it now. Holy shit. I literally, I've been using the same like character names since Diablo 1. You know, like my warriors are always Zug, and my wizards are always Gruz, and my uh, my Amazons or or bow ladies or or whatever are always Greeka, and I have a necro name and I have forgotten it. I do not remember the necro name. It was something with an M. Well, all right. Um, let's see. Good, 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 good necro name. She's she's kind of fiery looking. She's a, she's hmm, she's angular. She's sharp. Um. Let's see. Good necro name. Shouldn't overthink it. Let's do something off of Lanids. Um, how about Lin I mean, not Lanidia. Um, hmm. Hmm. Mortalia. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. All right, we're not going to do hardcore. We're not crazy. I'm not going to do solo account. Um, also, I don't know why it says account found instead of bound. Like, it really should be bound to me. This has something to do, like, if you do these, um, you can't trade equipment with other characters. And I don't, I, I'm not really sure what they're about. I'm not going to tick them because I don't know. So, let's get in there. And off we go. In the beginning. Oh, yeah, there's a whole new intro now. I've never seen this. Only Itera, myself, and the Void. Itera is the world. I was content with nothing. Mm. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert. Lagon of the sea. Fuck him. Rye of the endless skies. And Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Ikera away. Without her, there was conflict. Box man, Obi. Then wars. In the end, it was Rye who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Yeah, he's a big firebird. Caught within Rye's gaze were the Keepers. An order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected. Us. A traveler willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power. Why not all three? Redemption. Why not all three? Or was this fate? No, there is no fate but what you make. Come on, Terminator Perhaps. taught us that. But no story is quite that. I like I like the new artwork and stuff in the beginning. That's good. Alright, good, 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 good. And now we begin. Lance, have you heard that there's more that 9-11 caused? You lost connection to the game server. Ruh -roh. <laughs> okay, so I've heard that they've been having some problems with server stability uh, at this time. It caused Oppenheimer? 
clearly my my, my main knowledge is, is lacking here. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Well, we can go to offline if we need to. I think we're going to need to go offline. Damn it. Hmm. We'll try one more time, and if it doesn't work, we'll just go offline and do it. Online play is unavailable. Okay, there we go. We're going to go offline. You know how it cost Ellen Degenerate to get canceled, right? Uh, no. I know Ellen Degenerate, and I know she she's just a, a, a piece of work. She's a real piece of work and has been her whole time. Let's, uh, let's start over and do a new... We'll do an offline character. Okay, so this is going to be an offline... Uh, we'll just we'll name her Martalia as well. Yee. Yeah. And she's normal. Okay, so you can't do the other option. Yeah, we'll just do purely offline. This should work beautifully. In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's go. By default, only minion damage increases the damage dealt by your minion. Okay, that seems fair. <laughs> I don't care enough about her to spell her right. Fair. Yeah, I, I don't pay attention to, to that particular lady at all. Ooh, ooh. What? Okay, so we're we're sucking up their energy, it looks like, because I'm getting healed. What's that do? Rip blood. Rips blood out of the target enemy, dealing physical damage to it. An orb of, draw in his orb of blood is drawn back to you. Okay. Ooh. Got a health pot. Love that. Love that. So one of the things that was interesting, and I don't know if it's still this way, but before, um, if you left, if you like town portaled, you would leave your, your map that you were on and then you'd go back to your portal, it would completely reset. You and including what you had explored, and it would be full of mobs again. So you always wanted to complete the map you were on before you left it via portal or stepping off or whatever. The um which is very different. Like in Diablo, if you if you portal and go back to town to sell or whatever, um, you're fine and you can just go back. But here, like you actually don't really want to pick up all the loot because selling loot doesn't really give you any money. Um, the money you earn is going to be via quests and picking up gold. And then loot, generally speaking, um, you only want to pick up items that are of value to your character rather than stuff to, to break it or, or sell it or whatever. And and that's why they have this insane loot filter. And I can't remember how you get to it. Okay, Shift F does still do it. Um, you can make this insane loot filter and they get wild. Like there, there are whole websites about making these loot filters for like optimal builds and shit where it like only shows you certain tiers of items above certain levels based on your character level that only have these abilities on it including these uniques ignore these uniques da, 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 da. um holy hell we got a novel 911 calls Gerard Way to be make my chemical to make my chemical romance the fields of my chem created twilight fanfic of twilight turned into 50 shades 50 shades star dakota johnson goes on ellen and talk shit so everyone feels like they can talk shit and she got canceled you know i mean fair fair in a very similar way, you can trace the uh, the revolutions of 1848 all the way up through the Second World War and then ultimately to the moon landing. So the uh, the uh, democratic revolutions of 1848 across uh, Germany and Austria and all the Prussian republics or, you know, all the Germanic states and everything directly led to people landing on the moon 125 years later. At Twilight, there's a branch in the timeline where Robert Pattinson hates the series so much that he was making hella good movies at the time. He gets Christopher Nolan's attention for Tenet. Pattinson gifted Nolan a copy of American Prometheus, which is a biography of Oppenheimer and triggered the interest to make Oppenheimer a film. How wild. How absolutely wild. Pattinson is a good actor, but God, fuck Twilight. I say that. I've never seen it. I have no intention to. No need to. It's one of the, it's like, you know, it's like, um, like Titanic. I never saw Titanic. I don't need to. I don't need to. It's just, no, thank you. I, I know that's not going to be the movie for me, you know? Traveler. Okay. Our Hyborian allies. allies. You will attend the peace talks. Raya's hmm. war has reached our lands, and we are in need okay. of Okay. All right. So we know who Raya is. Keepers, we avoid conflict. 
We're dedicated to the I don't. And terror I, I relish conflict. That is, until Raya forced our hand. If Twilight didn't exist, neither would Fifty Shades of Grey, and I'd be okay with that. Valid, also valid. Neither of those. Neither of those. Yeah. We can't let that happen. We need Hirot's help. Your help. Hey, you know what? If people read it, it's like it's like I view it's like I view um it's like I view Harry Potter, right? The books, not for me, not for me. Could not stand the writing style. Abs I, I made it like three pages, and I was like, nope, yeet. But but if it got you reading, if it got you reading, and it sparked a love of reading, and you read more. That's a good service. That's a good service right there. And I'll say the same thing for, for Twilight and Fifty Shades, that if it got people reading and it got them interested and got them thinking and got them to read more, that's a net win. That's a net win, even though the, the particular content and books I, I could care less about. Um, couldn't care less about. I definitely, I don't need to see Titanic, but there was definitely enough room for both at least to make it to shore, even though they would have died at shore due to your skin being fused with the wood from salt water. Yeah, yeah. I think the whole thing of like, I, I just, I mean, there's, there's kind of one big major fucking flaw, which is that like, there's no way in hell a dude from steerage would be allowed on any other fucking part of the ship at any time, no matter who invited him, and she would have never invited him. Straight up, like that class, <laughs> that class separation was there for a reason. There were literal metal fucking doors to keep the people in steerage in steerage. Twilight is Harry Potter fanfic. It'd probably exist anyway. True. Okay, take this letter. Let's move on. I used to be real fucking uppity about stuff like, I don't get why this is, I, I hate it, and this shouldn't be in the, I've, I've eased up on that a lot, I think. Ooh, okay, so we don't love that. But you see, like, so the fact that I'm slurping blood out of this bird boy, god damn, he's beefy. The fact that I'm slurping all that blood out of him is, um, is what gives me my tankiness. So... Oh, wow. We got a lot of bugs. We got a lot of bugs. Blood ticks. Oh, shit. Blood fart. Okay, so maybe not so tanky. She's doing okay. She's doing okay. Come on. We got to drop a couple more. There we go. Now we're going to catch back up. Jesus. That was a lot, dude. Ooh, a copper chalice. What's that do? Hello? Oh, we equipped it. Uh, gave us health regen. So you can kind of see here, I'll, and I'll just talk about this very briefly. When you look at this item, this new item we got, okay, it's a copper chalice relic, plus two health regen, 23 forging potential. That's the crafting system. The crafting system is open from the beginning. Um, and every item has a forging potential. And then when you modify the item, when you add new affixes to it, which is either a prefix or a suffix, you know, cold blade of the locust, you know, right? Cold is a prefix of the locust is an affix. When you add those new affixes, or a, a suffix, excuse me, when you add those new affixes to it, it uses up forging potential. And uh, and that's the basic way you, you get items, is that you find items that have good forging potential, and then you modify them. And it can be you found an, an existing magic item, but let's say it only has two prefixes and one suffix, they can have two of each. So that means you can add a new suffix to it. And if it already had three things you really, really like, you're like, oh, oh, now I can put something really good on there on the end. And then it gets really complicated later. But um, Chris, 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 Canada is Earth Kim? Man, but I am so lost. <laughs> I am utterly lost. I'm old. I'm old. Okay, let's kill this dude. Let's try and not aggro the ticks. Try to not add the Taco Bell Crispana, Cris, Cris, Crispinata. My Taco Bell lore also lacking. My Taco Bell lore is like circa 1990s, mostly. Honestly, I, I well, no, I mean, crunch wraps are newer than that. Like, we do eat crunch wraps, but that's about it. I haven't been to Taco Bell in a minute. I, I got a feeling heartbeat and I might go to Taco Bell soon. Look at this shit. This looks beautiful. Does not Does it not look pretty good? I think it looks great. Oh, fuck. That's a goddamn bear. I I should not have done that. Hey, how about some skeletons? Can we have some skeletons, please? Please? I'd love another skeleton. Can I have another? Okay, cool. We got... How many skeletons can I have? Summon's a skeleton warrior. You are limited to three. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we have two skeletons and an archer. So if I summon another, do I get another archer? Ah. Okay, so they cycle what it summons. Okay, cool. Yeah, we definitely want skeletons. We oh, definitely. Shit. Oh shit! What I say? 
<laughs> Thank you, Cumbox. It cracks me up here in RP do that. Ooh. Yeah, so now we'll let them we'll let them take the beatings. I think the skeletons look pretty fucking cool too. I mean Yeah. I mean it's not like legendary graphics, you know, but goddamn, it's also not a $70 game like some, you know? I think this game's 30 bucks. I really don't remember. I, I that's my memory is that we paid 30 bucks. Definitely playing in offline mode right now is the play. So we'll get into it. Well, let's just let's grind through this campaign a little bit. It's a long fucking campaign. It took Harpy and I many hours to get through it. It was not quick, um, which I don't mean in a bad way. It's just. Oh, yeah. And so we're in the divine era, which is 12 years B.E., which is 12 years before something. I can't remember what it stands for, but it's basically 12 years before everything goes to hell. Ooh. Well, apparently everything went to hell for this guy already. Because he doesn't look like he's having a good time. The bodies are burnt beyond recognition. They were fleeing. Uh, they were fleeing and they were like speared, dude. That is not okay. That is not okay. Ooh. Ooh. And these big scorpion things are fucking nasty. Do, do, do. Well, skeletons are a bit chewed up. They do heal up, but see, it like takes a hot minute. Oh, we got a guy. Whoa, fuck, fuck off, fuck off, fuck right off. No, thank you. No, no, I want to unsubscribe from that. You know what? Fuck you. How about that? How about that? What's that do? Marrow shards. Fire sharpened bones from your body. The bones pierce through enemies, inflicting physical damage. Instead of mana, 9% of your current health is used, but it does 42 DPS versus 28. So very very good move, um, but arrived, a little a little tough. Was there a family? Uh, yeah, they're gone. It was my mistake. They were cornered, and there were so many. Oh, sorry, Grail. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it, and they left. Bro, a crispy empanada. Oh, oh. that sounds good. Thanks. Are you also here for the peace talks? I am. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, why don't we go together? I mean, I wonder, going together is always better than alone, right? I mean, everybody likes to, you know, you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes you just want to, you know, yourself, Come. but generally it's better fight. with the partner. Uh, oh, we gotta go back this way. Okay, so, we got our little skellies, we got a little thingy, got a little marrow ability, we can slurp up health, ooh. Nope. Oh, yeah. That was juicy. Also, you can see, like... Here, let me burn my health, like, way down. So I'm dropping my health as fast as I can. And you can see, like, out of combat, it's just regenerating hella quick. This is one of the things that the game gets right, I think. It doesn't really penalize you too much for... For, um... If you take a lot of damage. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Yeah, so I throw a few of those and then slut, 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 fuck, uh, oh, and uh, slurp up some blood orbs and we're good to go. Ooh. No, sir. No, sir. I, I reject that. I reject that. I don't know what those defiled bones are. What's that? Oh, it's a relic. Increased spell damage versus health regen. Ooh. Two potion slots. Three potion slots. Yoink. I, I like increased damage. Oh, shit. Clicked out of the window. <laughs> I'm not playing in full screen mode so that so that you guys can... We can enjoy this minimal view, you know? Rather than, 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 than the normal widescreen view I would be running. I, I think this view is better for you guys, so... It's a little harder for me to play, but, but it's very worth it. So, yeah, I mean, you can see it's, it's basically, you know... Like nothing too, nothing too crazy just yet. It's just a good, solid ARPG. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I will be honest. I, I struggled with the story a lot because the, a lot of fucking names got thrown at me really fast, and I'm like, who? The what? The what group? The who's? Who's this guy? What god? Like I just, I don't remember that shit anymore. Like I used to, and I, it sticks with you probably the more you play, but it, it didn't click for me fully. You know, it's like when they're. You need to go and talk to the so-and-so. The Vanir have wounded the Hubedines, and their mortal enemy, enemies, the Hominas, 
are are completely overwrought with burning ikata and they're praying to you know it's just a fuck i don't know what huh okay shitloads of melee damage no don't care okay 16 percent increased spell damage nope so, but like normally, like we wouldn't even be picking up most of these items. They don't matter. They don't matter. They're not good for us. Um, and it's like, yeah, technically I can sell them, but it doesn't really matter. Where'd you learn to fight? Ooh. Apparently I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Go. Dude. Oh, it's nice having a couple abilities now, though. God damn. Get fucked, Tick. Oh, we have a... What's this? We have a. We have some kind of ability. What's this? Passive. Oh, we have a passive point. We have some passives. Okay. Gain passive points by leveling up and completing your quests. Advancing your passive trees unlocks new skills and passives. And initially, you can only put them in your base tree. Then later, we'll be able to put them in our, in our big boy tree. <laughs> Look at all this shit. Look at how crazy this gets, dude. And this is just like, and, and it goes like beyond this even. There's like other whole trees and then each skill has a tree and you get the idea. So, all right, let's, let's spend some acolyte passives. Mana, mana, do, 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 do. <laughs> mana, mana, do, 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 do. Thank you. That's in my head now. That's, it's like when Bobby comes through and goes, da, na, 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 na. Fucking done. I'm done for the day when she does that. It's lethal. So now Manamana is going to be stuck in my head. So thank you. I appreciate that, Athena. Actually, that, that's that's a pleasant thing. Okay. Passives. Let's think about these. Um, the This passive, Blood Aura, is linked to this next one. So that's good. These two are not linked. But you have to spend points, X many points, period, to unlock this next tier. And after we spend five points here... We will get this ability down here at the bottom, Hungering Souls. And after we spend 10, after we spend 15, after we spend 20, right? So, um, you kind of want to look at these and think about it, but you can change them. Like, nothing's set in stone. You can change everything in this game. It's just a matter of, like, maybe needing money to do it. Usually, money's... You do most changes with money. It lives rent free. Absolutely. The world is a better place because of the Muppets. A hundred percent agree, dude. hundred percent agree. If you want to take any good, any good ancient story, ancient story, old story, any good old story, I guarantee you almost a hundred percent it's going to be better in the Muppets version. Like then, you know, like Muppet Treasure Island is actually one of the best versions of Treasure Island. You know, yeah, it's silly. It's fun, but it's like actually a really, really good telling of it. And, uh, and, um, and, and, and fuck Tim Curry. Absolutely murdered the role. I mean, just so good. He went so over the top and just he went so hard. Um, so like, yeah, I, 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 there are so many great movies I would love to see a Muppet version of, you know? Like, I'm not going to watch Titanic, but Muppet Titanic, I will watch. I will watch Muppet Titanic. Fucking Kermit and Miss Piggy on the on the plank at the end. 100% I would watch Muppet Titanic. Goes way harder than it needed to. Yup, 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 yup. Um, Muppet Avatar, sure, sure. Fuck Avatar, but oh man, I'd watch Muppet Avatar, absolutely. So maybe that's an old thing, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I like this Blood Aura a lot. I like this a lot because that's increased minion damage and increased base damage. Yup, yup. We're gonna we're gonna spend some points there. Okay. Oh, what's this? We have something else. Okay, skill system. Oh, yeah, okay. We've made it into the next system. There are a lot of systems, and they're going to come a little quick at the beginning, but it's okay. So we now have um, we now have a skill point as well. So you have passive points and skill points. They're separate rather than having just skill points that you can spend on active or passive abilities. Um, so you can, you can click on a skill to get the skill. And so up here, we have these five skills. These are the... These are the um, different things we're going to put on our bar or whatever. So like right now, I've got these four abilities already. Um, and what I can do is um, slot one of them up to specialize in that skill and it will become better. So I like skeletons a lot. I really like skeletons because they're kind of, you know, wandering spirits are not bad either. Those like you just, they're just ghosts. You summon them up and they like and go around and they fuck everybody up. 
Um, Rip Blood is a solid ability, but I kind of want my skeletons to be my big boys. So see, now that I've slotted skeletons up here, as my skeletons do stuff and I use the skill and I get points, uh, gain damage with it and everything, gain experience, I'll get skill points with those skeletons that I can then spend on the skill tree for skeletons. Every skill in the game, so all 15 classes, all 80 skills for those 15 classes or whatever, you know, you know, like all these hundreds of skills each have their own dedicated trees. And you can see when you when you start putting points in the skeleton tree, it gets it gets like you can really shape how your skeletons are going to work. So like base skeletons, I can give them um, this ability just gives them more points. And then I can take this that will lead to this next ability that will let me summon more. And then um I can go down here and it removes the abilities of archers, you know, or it removes archers or over here. It gives me a phalanx ability, you know, down here. Uh, you can just get more skeletons. There's like lots of different places I can get more skeletons. I can like uh, this one's all about upgrading my archers. This one's all about adding in the rogue and the rogues abilities. I think over here is base skeletons, more skeletons. Anyway, the point being, it gets wild. It gets really, really wild, and you can't get all of them. So you have to, like, kind of figure out what you want to do with it. So, like, I definitely want my archers. I think they're good. But more importantly, I want my skeletons to be able to tank. Um, so, like, bone armor is good. Your skeleton warriors can can uh, cast bone armor, reducing their damage by 40% every four, for four seconds out of every 10. So they have a 40% damage reduction 40% of the time, which is basically going to translate to a 16% damage reduction over long play sessions, which is pretty good. Sorry, hold on. I have multiple holes in me because the BBC, the BBC has a little eye thing going on right now. And I cleaned his eyes out this morning and uh, his eye out and the BBC, <laughs> the BBC. Mm, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. BBC doesn't like that shit. BBC is not down with that. Also, this hand is full of punctures. So, yeah. All, uh, he got eye boogies. Yeah, he's got something in one of his eyes. Uh, got a little infected. Kind of, sort of. It's just weeping and draining. And, you know, it just needs to be cleaned a lot. So, every, every you know, couple times a day, I clean it out. It's getting better. It's getting better. But, um, it's, uh, you know, just like when you get something in your eye and it gets really badly irritated for a little bit. You know, you just gotta... He can't... He doesn't have thumbs and shit. So, he can't, like, open his eye and clean it well so i gotta do it for him and he doesn't like that i have to pick our boy's nose sometimes he has hard boogers that get stuck and he can't get them out yeah oscar dude who oscar will go out and we'll hear him start sneezing we're like oh fuck everybody get away and you see this tiny little cat and i'm not kidding you he has sneezed out shit the size of a quarter that's rock fucking hard and foul and it's just, i like how dude like literally your your nostril is not even a millimeter across i don't know how that came out of your nose but I'm sure it felt so much better once it did. And that's uh that's just that's just Oscar. He's just got a little his little snooter gets impacted. Okay, so Well, I like skeletons a lot. And and here, like, so my skeletons are level one, and I get this slot at level one. I'll get this slot at level eight, twenty, thirty-five, and fifty. Um and you can make changes to them, but once you make changes to these, you lose the points you've got in them, and you have to earn them back, and that takes a long time, especially at high level. A very long time. So you you do want to be careful. Um, skeletons leech a portion of damage they deal as health and have additional physical. I like that a lot. And then summon multiple skeletons in a single cast, but it costs more mana. I like that. Hmm... So to get this one, I need to have either two points in this unbound necromancy. Summoning costs less, and they have imp improved um, crit. Well, I don't really know that I care about that. But then that will lead me to soul catcher, which means I get a shield every time one of them dies. Um, and I this buffs me when they die. This is all about them dying, which I don't really... I, I don't want that. So I'm thinking down here... We're going to improve their health, improve their damage, because this is going to open up a bunch of fun shit that I like. So we're going to start working down here. Okay. So 
So I know I'm I know I'm kind of talking a lot about it, and I'll, I'll try and focus on playing more for you guys. Cause it's probably not as fun to. Ooh, shit. Okay, yeah, fuck that, fuck that. How about how about you eat my whole fucking ass, dude? That was rude. That was really rude. I I didn't. Oh God, bro, those are my skeletons, bro. How dare you? Hmm. No. Well done. Oh. We're almost there. Okay. A uh, hectic garb of life, heretic garb of life, a wooden shield, a poignard, and another wooden shield. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this is uh, 13 health, and what we're wearing is just armor. So this has more armor and health. Sweet. And then our shield. Um, what's it, where's the compare control? Okay, so this is better in every way than the shield we have. Fire resistance. Love that. This one has a bunch of extra block effectiveness. Ooh. So only 89 base, but then 147 more, which seems like that's that's pretty good. So we lose some fire resistance, but we pick up a bunch of block effectiveness. I don't think things are gonna be hitting me in melee too much. So let's go with the let's go with the other. And the poignard, I don't think is gonna be particularly good. That's melee weapon. Improved crit strike though. I mean, I really think we want something, though, that's going to keep our, our... We're looking for another scepter or something, right? We want to get that... We want to get that spell damage up. The keepers have proven difficult to track. But my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen mm. nor abandoned on a whim. There's a pattern to how they scurry. I instructed my soldiers to investigate the abandoned camps. Invariably, they're near oh. shrines devoted to the eldest of gods. Each one was as empty as the last. Okay. Save for meager signs of the keeper's presence. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. Rude. Very Fire rude. Wills it. Fucking heretics. Okay. Oops, not what I meant to click. Oh. One of the other things that's kind of weird is that like this the game has left click to move, but I can't attack with that. Attack is right click. And I can put another skill on right click, which I will. Actually, I'm gonna probably do that right now. Boop. I'll just do that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll make this our uh we'll make that that. Yeah. We'll put nothing on that key for right now. Yeah, there we go. I, I want to be able to attack with the left mouse button, but I don't think you can change it. Okay. We have now found the Keeper's Camp. We have completed a quest. We got 20 experience, 40 gold. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Fire. Fire everywhere. Don't like that. I mean, fire is, fire is amazing. What the fuck? What is going on with you, dude? Bro, you got, you got a fungus on you, man. You stuck in time. That boy got that virus. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, you don't have fungus. You have like, you got a bad case of hand back, I guess. I don't know. I mean, self reach around maybe. What the fuck? Here, what's offered protection? Hmm. More than protection, an alliance. But the truth is, we know little. Keeper about Lena. Or his people. Prospect okay. one. He's one of the gods. That could be. Terra made him just as she made us keepers and gave him a role by her side. He's the guardian of his people and he does his job well. Okay. Prospect two. He cares for his people. Like the goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. Sounds like a good Four guy. Alliances wanting to stand united. Meanwhile, Raya wishes to tear this world asunder. Not a nice guy. Prospect three. His people are warriors. Hairborian fighters put us to shame. Mm -hmm. We fight because it is necessary <clears throat> while they relish in it. I'll take on being behind their blade any day. Thus, I propose we accept this. Okay, alliance. so they're talking about allying up with dude. Nature, fair, fair. Keepers have a sacred duty. Sounds like their leaders waiting up at the shrine. The keepers have done well. This place isn't a group tied closely with our goddess. Okay. Terror. They've been indebted to her. But so the keepers are tied to Atera, the goddess, but they don't know why. Names. Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god or just her? 
It's we'll find out. That interest the Ospricks. The Ospricks are the bird people. I'm sure Raye wants them. Yeah, the Ospricks want... They're the bird people. They want all the Keeper shit. And they're being sent by Raye, who's a god. Now, we speak to the Keeper Council. Okay. Speaking of, I must head there now. Okay. Free to look around. Nope. Not what I meant to click. Do, 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 do. Got more peoples doing stuff. Meanwhile, I'm just walking through with the dead. Don't pay any attention to me. Just skeletons and shit. Here's the waypoint system, which is which is really pretty robust. So, like, yeah, and here you can kind of get a whole look of the map, right? So here's the map with all these different things. You can't see all the waypoints on it, but they're everywhere. There's so many freaking waypoints. And this is just one time period. There's also the ancient era, era, which has a whole nother set of waypoints. The imperial era, the ruined era, the end of time. All of these are complete, like you can take different acts, quote unquote, but you can go between them at any point and you can travel from all the waypoints to all the other waypoints. And, you know, there's just like, oh my God, you can do so much. Uh, here's an armor person. So I think here we can maybe, um, we can either just sell our garbage or I think we can break it. I don't remember where you break items. We don't really have any magic shit to break, I don't think. We have this one shield, so let's put that over there. Yeah, and this too. Because some of those we can get some crafting shit we like. So, um, is it shift right click? Yes. Easy. Somewhere we can we can craft these we can craft this shit and break it down. Here's our stash. Just like you would expect, right? Plain old ordinary stash system. Uh are you it? You're a brain person. What do you do? Okay, this is mastery points. Yeah, this is where you res respec. And there's like a cost to that, and I can I don't remember what it is. <coughs> I truly cannot remember how you how you break items down though. I thought it was this guy. We may not have the we may not have the ability yet. Ooh, ooh, a helmet, plus one intelligence, like that. How much is it? How much is it? Purchase price eight. Where's our gold? Two hundred and forty-three gold. There is a. I don't remember how you break something though. Is it? I mean, no. Uh, excuse me. I don't. I just don't remember how to break items. <clears throat> oh yeah, and if you leave it in there, it'll stay in there. That's kind of like an extra slot. We'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. What do you got? <coughs> hmm. Oh, okay, she's talking with people. Peace talk. Okay. Thank you, Tara. We'll go talk to this lady. So here's our here's our here's our lady. Was just telling me of your battle. Oh my god, leader. cute as One fuck, bro. Council. Not that that has anything to do with anything, but she's that's a really good design. She's she's absolutely striking. Okay. One of two. Oh. There should be more of us here. Oh, that's not good. They're gone. Well, yeah, I figured that. Both us and I remain. Baltus, okay. As such, I must ask for your help. Okay. Baltus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. Not much, I'm afraid. We'll discuss it after our alliance. No. Oh. You are, and I'm sorry, but this is how it must be. Their secrecy keeps them safe. Well, yeah, in wartime, I mean, there's shit you gotta keep secret. That's fair. swarm all of our sacred vaults. Ooh. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north where Baltus is. Okay. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a Drake patrolling the skies. A Drake? Uh oh. <laughs> Do this. Uh, lady, I'm level four. <laughs> we'll lend our aid to heal Borea's okay. army. We now have a new quest. Well, let's Grail go. Was just telling me of your one of two. Okay. There be more. What Sounds you like got, Grail? Where we part ways. Yes. Something you need? No, not right now. We'll talk to him another time. Okay, let's go. Let's go kick some ass. I think this is the way we go. Isn't it? Uh, we got a thingy on the map. There we go. Yeah, so we are in 
we are in the forest gardens and there's this icon on it um, that indicates this is a quest area. And then this one's blue because we've unlocked the, uh, the waypoint. And these, you can see, they don't have any little like indication in them. They don't have waypoints. This one here, the fortress walls, there's a waypoint there. So looking at the map, I know there's no waypoint here for me to go find. I don't need to worry about dragging it down. And uh, and we can just we can just go fuck shit up. So let's go fuck shit up. Okay, bunch of carnivorous plants. Ooh, get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! I don't like you. I don't like you. You you are not my friends. You are not my friends. Yeah, so there's wandering spirits. You can see they just kind of they kind of roam around. That's sort of like your oh shit PBO, PBAOE move. Is how I take it. I don't really know. I mean, I'm no expert. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a look on my skeletons to make sure that they're all good. Oh, that was a that was a rare mob. Nope. Nope. Fuck right off with that. No, thank you. Oh, cool. All right. We got a new ability. What do we got? Harvest. Ugh. A melee attack that hits all enemies in an area in front of you, dealing double damage to those that are cursed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love that shit. Let's take a little more blood aura. And um, let's put let's put that ability on our on our right click. And we'll put uh, we'll put we'll put this on here. But, uh, no, excuse me. We'll put, yeah, no, that's right. We'll put that on there. We'll put that on there. Excuse me, sir. That one. And then that one. And then that one. There we go. Okay. So now we got our skellies. We got our dudes. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I like that shit. Here we got like a chest or something. Ooh, ow. Ooh, hide gloves of renewal. Yes, sir. We'll take that, please. Thank you very much. Oh, we already equipped them. Okay, good. Health regen. Love that. Oh, we got a spear and a bunch of other shit. What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> it's rare. That's gold. Love it. Bunch of melee damage. Don't love that. Increased movement speed. Stun chance. Shock on hit. Like that. Dodge rating. Yes, sir. Increased minion damage. Okay, so health regen or minion damage. Hello, minion damage. Because we can just slurp up health. We'll set those aside to, to try and salvage them. Ooh, a wand. Increased damage over time. Irrelevant. But bonus spell damage. That seems good. We'll hold on to this to salvage later. I kind of want to play with this, though. I kind of want to play with this. What if we What if we tried this out? Let's just Let's just get that spear. Of... Wow. Yeah, that that kind of that kind of beefed her up a little bit in melee. That's for damn sure. Okay, keep rolling. We are being bombarded from above, and I, I object. I object wholeheartedly. No, sir. I, I would unsubscribe. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck. Get spirited on, bitch. Oh, 
they're so creepy sounding, bro. Shit, he's a big ugly. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, starting to get the hang of it. I don't like the way my hotkeys are laid out yet. They're not, they're not jiving for me as well as I might like. Um, we do have another skeleton point we can spend. Um, so if we spend one more, we can get the armor thing. Ooh. And what's this one doing? When one of your skeletons dies, another is healed to full health. I like that a lot. That seems potent. So if I spend another point here, I'm going to open up all these trees. Which will then give me more skeletons. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. We're doing that. What's this? A haste shrine? Ooh, we're fast as fuck, boy. Jesus Christ, we're a... Whoa! No, no, nope, 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 nope. Here, have some ghosts. Thank you. Oh, shit. I clicked out of the game again. That sucks. Okay, it's all good. Happened exactly like I wanted it to. I'm a pro fucking gamer. Pro fucking gamer. Exactly what should have happened right there. God damn. This haste shrine is the tits. Yes, please. More, more, more. Lots more. Oh. They all just fall down. I love it. Press button. All enemies stop. I like it. A little OP maybe right now, but that's okay. You should be overpowered in the beginning. You want to feel powerful and invincible while you're learning mechanics. So here's where we need to go. Let's take a look at our loot. We got some loot. Oh, shit. I guess I walked through without realizing I walked through. Fuck. Okay. All right. Hang tight, everybody. Stay here. No one moves. Skeletons be cool. Increased damage over time. Extra health versus increased spell damage. I mean, yeah, we're doing, we are doing a lot of spell damage. So we got a silver ring with movement speed. Okay. Equip, please. Thank you. And here we have a scepter with melee and spell damage. Two and... I mean, let's go ahead and do this. I mean, the spear is good, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like the right thing. Whoa. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't think this thing's the right toy for us right now. Okay. Oh, barrels. Fuck yes. I know Harpy just got whoa, engorged. Harpy loves breaking barrels and shit, like in Diablo 2. That was, uh, that was, that's, that's critical to her, man. In Act 3 Diablo 2, every fucking basket must, must be kicked. It is a goddamn imperative. Ooh, a Tarj. Or a Tarje. Harpy and I call Target Target because it's it's classy, you know? Target is much classier than like Kmart used to be or the Walmart, so it's Target. Clearly. We're dumb, by the way. I think you guys know that. One of the other things I did recently, I, I played some uh I'm, ooh, I played some lethal company. Holy fuck ow! Oh, ow, ow. You know what? Fuck you, dude. Right, right in your little bungus. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you throw that at my skeletons. No, no, no. That is not where that goes. No! Oh, shit, I clicked out. God damn it. Ugh, that was because I clicked out of the fucking game. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> I click out of the game too much. I'm used to being able to use my whole monitor. Poopy, poopy, poopy bungus. That's right. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I um I, I played some Lethal Company on Sly Fry stream yesterday. Just totally out of out of the blue. Ooh. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna focus on what I'm doing. I'm gonna focus on what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm a great asset. I'm a great, great fucking asset. Die bird, there you go. You're dead. Eat shit. Fuck you. Um, this is why I did not do hardcore. Because I knew that there were chances I could do stuff like that. 
But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Had a great time. Played for a couple hours. At least. I mean, uh, time just flew on by. Got to be ship mommy. Doc was there. If you have the opportunity to go swing by Sly for ice streams anytime, I, I definitely recommend. She's a peach. She's a total peach. Increased cast speed, fire resistance. I like that. And better spell damage. Okay, very good. Melee attack speed, don't care. Cast speed, don't really care. We have minion damage. We're not giving up minion damage. Oh, waypoint. Okay, so I was dead ass wrong. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, because we're in the walls now. Duh, duh, yes. I, I wasn't paying attention. What's this? There's a thing here. What this? What you got? What are you doing, sir? Whoa! That's bait. That's fucking bait. How dare you? How dare you? Dude, that is not okay. Do not use the civilians as bait. This is not the way a civilized bird man wages war. You're supposed to die to the necro. Hey, welcome in, Rave. We're doing good here. We're playing a we're playing a, a new ish game that just released. Um, I've I've played it in early access for a bit, but um, the actual game is out out now. It's called Last Epoch. It's uh it's Diablo style, you know, ARPG game. Over there, they've invaded some old storage. They're building something. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a side quest. Fuck us. No, come on, Skellies. We're gonna go this way. Ooh, yeah, get 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 ghosted on. Get ghosted on. Fucking bird man. These bird guys are. Ooh. Oh, that was my skeleton. Do not do that to my Skellies. Oh, the storms are down there. How do I get down there? It looks like I go this way. Okay, good, good, good. You know what? You know what? Just the whole ass, dude. All of you. Yeah, line up on that bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. Line up on the bridge for the piercing attack. Thank you, bird people. <clears throat> How are you, Raven? How's things going? Doing anything fun lately? Damn it. I did not want to go in there yet. I wanted to go kill those fools. That's all right. There, if there's one thing, you know, I mean, like all of these games. Shit. <laughs> I came right back out. There's an unlimited number of fools to kill. Okay, go back in. There we go. Now we'll click the correct way this time. So we're in the storerooms. Which does not look like it has a waypoint. And we just have a, we have a little, uh, we have a little, oh, oh, a dexterity shard. Love that. Yeah, so shards are, um... You can put them in your stash, and so shards are what you use for crafting. And when I look at my crafting materials, you can see now I have one dexterity shard, which um, you can add, and it gives the dexterity affix to to a, a thing. So I can put it in helmets or armor, boots, rings, gloves, relics, or quivers, and it will add dexterity just straight up. So it's, it's no good for this character. But... Um, it will be good for other characters. And your shards, when you, uh... Hold on. I just didn't want to die. I wanted to, like, actually pay attention to what I was doing here. You're out... Yeah, and there's a block chance shard. Um, also, we should probably... Should probably, at some point, spend our points again. That's a lot of ticks, dude. <laughs> That's a lot of X ticks, dude. Get out of here, little shitters. Water Shrine. Gain mana regen and cooldown recovery speed. Well, that's all good and fine, but I don't use that a lot. <clears throat> Ooh, extra health. Yes, sir. And a Rowan Wand. Okay, spell damage, spell cost, cast speed. I don't care, man. I don't care, bro. Ooh, even better. Increased mana regen, increased minion damage. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Transfer that into our thing. Yeah, I just... God, I wish I could remember how to... Break shit. I really thought... Man, that's a nice... Wow. 
increased spell damage, increased damage over time, a bunch of health and fire resistance. That's a nice little thing we found. Okay. Yeehaw. Let's go. Let's go find these idiots. Yeah, line up, fools. Line up. Come on. Chop, chop, chop. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for all the health. Doing great. Went to my first concert in my area since my big move. Very nice. What'd you go see? Dude, Starkadian, one of the guys we love, is coming to a, a big EDM thing out in the desert. And we're like, oh, dude. Like, we, on one hand, like, ooh, hell yes. But on the other hand, damn it. <laughs> you know? The problem is it's like 400 bucks to get tickets because it's like, yeah, to buy tickets for the whole event. And I'm not going to say I don't care about any of the other bands, but I definitely don't care as much about any of the other bands as I do about Starkadian. He's the only one that I'm like, you know, really pretty, pretty interested in seeing. Oh, okay. Hold up. We got some bullshit to drop. Get rid of that. We don't need that. We're going to get rid of all these white items that are, that are not worth a lot. Because uh, nobody cares. See, like they're worth, you know, a couple gold. They don't matter. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So what do we have here? We have 19% spell damage and some fire resistance. Eh, I mean, we can hold on to that and maybe rip a shard out of it. Okay. So now we'll get this Tome of Evasion. We'll see what this is all about. Offhand Catalyst. Okay, intelligence, cast speed, increased cast speed, and dodge rating. Versus our shield that has a bunch of, I mean, hmm. I don't know, a necro with the shield seems a little weird, you know? A little weird. An EDM artist, Subtronics. Very nice, very nice. Good shit. Yeah, and, you know, it's like Harpy and I were talking, we've, we've been talking a lot about like that and WitchCon and, and, you know, like that show in particular and just shows in general. And like, fuck, no, 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 unacceptable. You know what? My, no, fuck you. Dude, do not roast cocksucker. You do not get to roast me. Yeah, sit in the ghost field and burn. Burn, bitch. Burn, bitch. But No, you do not get to eat my skeletons. My skeletons are for me to eat. Thank you. It's like, it's like in the road where it's my snake and I'm going to eat it. Okay. Um, yeah, so Harpy and I have been talking a lot about that, like TwitchCon and just, you know, like concerts and shit like that we want to go see. And we both come to the conclusion that we're fucking old, man. And like, that shit's a young man's game and a young woman's game and a young person's game. You know, like we kind of want to just take it easy. All right, let's see what we got. We got another skeleton point. Love that. Oh, fuck. We got a choice now. We can take this Aegis of Death so that when one skeleton dies, another one's healed. They're really quick to bring back up. Or we can just summon more. I like that. I like that a lot. And then if we did that, we could get rid of our skeleton archers, which means we would just have more melee skeletons, which I kind of like. Because, you know, I'm the archer. Dread Phalanx. Oh, look at that, bro. Oh, oh. So, but if you look at Dread Phalanx, like, okay, it sounds great. They do a bunch of extra damage, but you have half as many. Ooh. Ooh. Half as many rounded up, though. So, right now we're at three. This would give us, what, one more? Yeah. So, that would be four. We'd have to pick up another skeleton somewhere else. I don't know about that one. I don't know. Dread Ro or Skeleton Rogue sounds kind of good, too. Add skeleton rogues to the pool. Rogues teleport to enemies, throw shurikens, and use melee attacks. And then they can get poison and something else. Uh, and what do we have out here? What, this, what does this do? Bone armor. Skeletons use their shit more frequently. And they can target enemies with bone armor. Or target allies. Oh. I like that a lot. Damn. I kind of want to keep pushing on to bone armor because I feel like they're doing fine where they're at. So let's get that third point to get bone armor next time. And um, and let's see what we have here. So we've got another one of these. I mean, this minion armor is pretty good too, though, you know? Hmm. Hmm. 
I mean, we really only needed to put one point in this. Let's let's give them some armor. We'll give them a little buff too. Okay. All right, that feels good. That feels good. And we have whatever that was. I don't know. I just clicked that thing. Oh, okay, we're done. Return to the Hiborian soldier. Yes, sir. Easy. Easy mode. Okay, get this cup out of my way. Put my put my titty milk. I'm in my 30s, and last year I went to EDC. I walked about 20,000 steps a day for three days. It kicked my ass, but I'm so ready to do it again this year. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah, see, like, we're, we're, we're more in the 50s. <laughs> so it's not to say that we can't, but we're just like, hmm. Especially, I mean, the root issue, too, is, like, in Harpy's case, you little bastard, man. In Harpy's case, you know, she's working so hard, and her free time is so limited. It's almost impossible for us to take vacations and stuff right now. Um, that we have to really target what we're going to spend time on. And she and I both just do not like big crowd events at all. Um, we don't even like small crowd events, frankly. Like, our ideal event is, like, us and three or four people at, at like, our home or someone else's home. Like, that's our ideal. Um, we can go bigger events, but, but, like, especially huge events like concerts and shit... It's got to be a really special one, you know, because it's just like we do not enjoy the the crush of people and and just the the general chaos and 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 humanity, you know. Um, it, it detracts from the experience more than it adds. Like like movie theater, that's like the biggest like event that that I think where where the crowd really adds a lot. You get beyond that, it starts to overwhelm and and detract from it a bit more. Don't get me wrong. I mean, like if you're gonna see a concert, yeah, you want more than a movie theater's worth of people because they're all cheering and everything. But then you got to deal with the parking and the this and the that. You know what I mean? It's like a, as a whole equation thing. Like for us, the equation tilts towards smaller events these days. Whereas like before, I mean, Jesus Christ, I saw Pink Floyd with 100,000 people, you know? So, um, <clears throat> and and I would not have had it any other way. So I head towards the storage. Are they gone? They are gone. I should. Thank you. I'll uh, go back to the game. Oh, got a passive point. Fucking love that. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was worthwhile. That was worthwhile. It's understandable I miss it. Yeah, it's like, you know, like I said, it's just one of those things like, I don't know. It, it just, it's really going to depend. You know, like, like I'm sure Harpy will want to go see Judas Priest next time they tour if they come to the West Coast. They'd fucking better um, with her sister, no doubt. But, you know, like me, not a huge fan of Judas Priest particularly. Probably won't go, you know? I mean, unless there's, like, a really good reason for me to go, like, Harpy doesn't have someone else, then, yeah, I'll go with her. But if, like, her sister's going to fly out and go with her, they're good. They're good. I'll drive them to it from it. Keep your Baltus is inside, protecting the shard. The Auspix won't be able to pass without a symbol of Atera, but they'll break it down. I hit a symbol. They left me alone thinking I was already dead. Okay, so this will let us in. We're going to go in and help Baltus. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's help this man. See what he's protecting. He's protecting a shard. Oh, quest completed. Okay, let's spend some points. We got a shitload of points to spend. Three unspent points. Holy fuck. Um, okay, so if we spend one more point, which we have now done, we got Hungering Souls. A new ability calls forth five Hungering Souls that seek out enemies, and on hit they deal necrotic damage, then possess the target. Possessed enemies take necrotic damage over time for one and a half seconds. They cannot be possessed by multiple souls at once. So this is going to be a good ability to drop on groups of five or more. I like the image of you just sitting in the car waiting for them. I don't wait at the concert. I come home. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm like if they were in L.A., I would drive them to wherever because we live, you know, 15 minutes from L.A. So I would just take them to wherever it was and drop them off and then come home. But no, I would I would actually like it. if it was farther away, I'd just I'd just chill. I do that all the time. Like when Harpy goes grocery shopping, I stay with the dog, she goes in. I got no problem entertaining myself in the car for a couple hours. You know, does not phase me. Does not phase me. I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Okay, we now have new places we can spend passives. So we can do stolen vitality. Increases our minion health, like that. And that will lead to Crimson Gluttony, which gives health regen to minions. This is all minion shit up here. Banana. Attack speed to minions. Okay. 
does not scale with um, applies to player for 10 seconds on minion skill use. Mm. Whenever a nearby enemy, ally, or minion dies, you have a 10% chance to gain ward. Mm. Mm. I mean, stuff dies a lot, so you're going to have a ward fairly frequently. I don't know. That's probably not that powerful. That ward gets stronger. That's a different thing. I mean, I feel like buffing up the minions is the way to go. Increase poison damage. Chance to poison nearby enemies on kill. Oh. I like that. A revenant? What? When damage leaves you below half health, you summon a revenant. A melee minion with decaying health whose damage scales with your intelligence. I like that a lot. Okay. Gluttony. Increased health regen. Minion health regen. Reduced health drain. Hmm. Hmm. Lurk, gotta go pick up your food? Great. Well, I, we, we, of course, you know, you can't say that without promising to give us a report on the food when you get back. So we, we insist on a food report when we get back. And by we, I mean me and all of chat. And all of chat, if you don't agree with me, I don't care. You agree with me. So we demand a food report when you get back. Raven. I hope it's good food. Hope you love it. By good food, I mean I hope you enjoy it. It's tasty. Not like, oh, I hope it's Michelin star, you know, amazing takeout. Or I hope it's like, you know, I hope it's not Taco Bell. Fuck yeah, I get some Taco Bell. Get whatever you want. As long as it's good to you. I mean, this is pretty good. This is just straight up damage buffing. I kind of want to do Dark Rituals to open up this Revenant. I want to open up the Revenant. So we're going to do that right away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we do need to open up this one too, though. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. Get a couple points going. Get a couple points in there. All right, we got them. And then um, we don't have any more skill points, but I do have... Ooh, I have so many new things, though. So, so... Yeah, there it is. Hungering Souls. I do want to use this. I want this desperately. This Wandering Spirits, I mean, it's good, but they're kind of random. We're using the Marrow Shards a lot. The Skeletons we got to have. I don't feel like I'm using Harvest at all, so I actually want to put Curse on that, I think. Yeah, I think I want to put the curse on there. Because um, what was it that does more damage to curse shit? Something does more to cursed shit. Uh, Harvest does. Fuck. That's what I was going to replace. Okay. Well, actually, no, that's okay then. All right. So why don't we why don't we think about this, though? Why don't we think about this? So what if we, what if we take away this ability that I've been using a lot? We'll put bone curse on there. Applies curse to an enemy in the area for eight seconds. It causes physical damage when they're hit. The damage is tripled if you inflict the hit yourself. So I can curse everything, then I can run up and harvest it. And and they're going to just fucking melt. We're going to melt them. So let's try that out. Wow. Or I'll just run away because I'm a... Whoa. Yeah, so they, they melted. They just all fell down. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Water shrine. Don't think that's really super important to us, but we'll try it. Okay, let's get in here. What do we got? Why do I have a feeling this is a big boss fight coming? Nope, nope, nope. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we're gonna just, we're gonna, oh, wow. Okay, so screw that guy. Yeah, occasionally using your uh, using your little slurpy slurp is the way to go. Okay, but we did it. We did it. Ooh, a bone mask. Don't really care about a bastard shield. I do care about intelligence shards. Once I deciphered the keeper's movements, the vaults were easy to find. Mm. Exploring them proved more challenging. Sushi. Oh. Ancient uh, stonework uh, that could inspire even the greatest very nice. architects. Nearly impenetrable. Okay. 
Between my engineers' finest munitions and the strength of my pet, pet, we managed to crack one open, only to find empty halls and vacant chambers. What would be the purpose of such a stronghold if it were to house nothing? Yet I could tell they were here, just as I predicted. They were guarding something of immense importance, mm. something powerful. Right. So he he made it in, but there's nothing here, and he doesn't understand. It's so confusing, bro. Hole. Oh, that's pretty good. Melee fire damage, a bunch of melee damage. It's a little dangerous to be wading into melee, right? But, but, but. Transfer all this stuff in. Um, what do we got? Just garbage. Okay. Yeet. I kind of think, I kind of think, what if we try out the staff a little bit, you know? What if we just go da dunk and we go da dunk and we go, hey, you get in there. And what if we, what if we bonk these fools with our staff? This way. Well, hello. What's up, doofus? Oh, he's old as balls. Protect the shot. Okay. We will protect the shard. Oh, shit. What? What? What's going on? Oh. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. Man, when I get that curse on things, they just, they fall down. One, two, I mean, as soon as I hit them, it's enough to make sure that they fall down with this staff. Because the staff hits hard. I mean, not this guy. Whoa, shit, I clicked out. God, I didn't, though. There, I, mm, I clicked right through the game somehow. Like, I was watching my mouse. Ow. Okay, let's we'll use the health potion real quick. Safe. We'll reconvene outside. That should hold them. First things first. Okay. Thank you. We'll, we've reinforced our walls. Reinforced, supplied. supplied. Men, dozens of them. Yeah, the howling monster circling the vault. Yes. Mm. So, I see you like keeper's robes. I take it Lena sent you. Yep, that she did. Oh, lovely. While your help has been appreciated, I have. What do you mean? I'm protecting the Epoch, of course. Protecting the Epoch, okay. Here. It's a fortress. Meant to keep unruly treasure hunters from locating the shards of the Epoch. Okay. Or at least it's supposed to. Drastic times. Did Lena not tell you? No, bitch didn't tell me nothing. She just said, go do this. I'm not telling you. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. Okay. These beast dogs are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. Valid. Okay. Another staff. Whoa. That looks good. Um. Yeah, that's that's probably a little bit better. Big chance to chill. Big stun. Big crit. Some spell damage. Actually, I don't know, man. That melee fire damage is pretty big. We'll try it. We'll try it. What's this? An offhand with intelligence and fire resistance. Ooh, a big gnarly axe with a bunch of melee damage. Eh, not for us. I don't think. I don't think. Okay. Um, uh, where do we go? Escape the keeper vault. Uh, this way? I guess. Do, 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 do. Fuck your pots. Do we run in? Not that way. So what are you guys thinking? How do, what do you think of the game so far? I like it. I, I think it's a solid game. It's It's got that good old D Diablo vibe to me. Um, it's different. It's definitely different. Like, the combat's different. The, the not left-clicking to attack kind of messes with me. 
but um, but you get used to it. I'm having to, to kind of redo my muscle memory on it, to be honest, but you have been vibing with it. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's it's a solid game, I think, um, especially for the price point, you know, versus versus what a lot of a lot of other games cost. You know, I mean, obviously, like P.O.E. is, is free um, and you don't really need to pay with P.O.E. Until you get into until you get into needing um, more inventory room, I think really is when when you really kind of need to pay. But um, you're gonna get out of Poe with like all your inventory and stuff unlocked for like what sixty bucks, seventy bucks, something like that, I think. And that's enough to to really get into like full full. Ooh. Sorry, I, I I tend to shut up when I'm like worried that I'm gonna die. <laughs> Anyway, see, so yeah, I, I feel like this game's doing doing pretty good on the price point. Um, I, and I'll tell you, I, I have more fun playing it than I do playing Diablo 4. Um, I don't know that I have more fun playing it than Diablo 3. Like, Diablo 3 in its, in its current incarnation, you know, like, a, as of when they, they pretty much stopped development on it, is a pretty fucking solid game. It's really fun. Like, they got the fun aspect down. Oh yeah, line up bitches. Line up bitches. Oh yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Thank you. Thank you. You have such wonderful souls. Oh, you're beautiful. You're amazing. You have gorgeous dil Oh yeah, tick me. Tick me. Tick me. I want you to suck me. Yeah, so this cursing is definitely working well. All I ever hear is D3 is bad. Um, you know, like I mean people say that for sure. There there are definitely plenty of people who say that. I, I would say a lot of people, not all, but a lot of people who are like, D3 is garbage, you know, eh, trash game, bad graph, da da da, da. You know, Okay, graphics, whatever. You know, if you're shitting on Diablo 3's graphics, like, well, first off, it's over 10 years old. So, um, I think the graphics were fine for when they were, especially going by the Blizzard ethos of the time, which was that you have low hardware requirements. Like, Diablo 3's hardware requirements were very modest when it came out, and they're non-existent now. Um... But I, I would say probably a lot of the people saying that the game isn't fun and this and that haven't played it recently. And it's most fun in the seasons because the, the stuff they did in the seasons is really, really good. And now they're repeating the seasons. They're, they're not going to do new ones anymore. They're just going to keep doing the old ones over and over, which there are 30 of them. So that's fine. But um, it's, it's a blast, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. D3 is one of those games like once a year I could pick up and just go hard for two, three weeks on and have a great time and then be like cool i'm done and then move on to whatever else but i could always come back to it and have a blast every time and uh that's something that i think they really really got right later but in, in its original form it definitely it definitely suffered i enjoyed it like the story playthrough and stuff the first time but um but after that it, it sucked for a good long time until they got like greater rifts in and and then when they did the expansion for it that that helped a lot Bibbs says it but he's way more into poe game style we played d3 together till d4 came out yeah totally fair not every game's gonna be for every person see and like i'm i'm the flip like poe not my style not my style at all d3 i enjoyed it although i i kind of like a little slower pace i mean there are times when d4 went way too slow paced way too slow paced and just way too way too um, minimal on the power gain from items and stuff like that. And the level scaling was so overhand, uh, so out of hand that like every time you got new gear, it was like, cool, everything still dies in 83 seconds. Hey, I got the new ultra super turbo uber legendary. It now dies in 83 seconds because the enemies just scaled up with me. Fuck yeah. So why do I wear anything other than a loincloth? I don't know. I don't know. The game's never answered that for me. Someday Harpy and I will go finish the story for D4 and that will probably be the last we'll play of it ever. Um, I Because I, I don't think they can fix it. And I don't think they're gonna. I think they're happy with the money they're getting from the whales buying the cosmetics and shit. And, um, and I don't think it's meant for us. I just don't think it's a game made for us anymore. Okay, we have now unlocked this. Oh yeah, let's spend our points. Um, hmm. 
Okay, so we have the passive unlock that will open this guy up, but we need to spend four more points to get this dude, which will give us additional armor based on our character level. Yes, sir. I like that a lot. I like that a hell of a lot. All right. Oh, we get a new specialization now. Okay, so respect in skeletons. Do we want to go? I mean, I don't know. What are you guys thinking about this? This ooh, hungering souls, bro. Ooh. Yeah, isn't this wild? So we're going to have all these acolyte skills. And then we're going to have, theoretically, these passive point skills, right? And then we're going to do a mastery class. And we're going to have one of these lines of skills. And from those, we'll have to pick five that we specialize in. And then those five will have trees. <laughs> you know what I mean? Holy balls. So I, mean, I kind of want to go for Lish. I kind of want to go for Lish. Let's look at the Lish abilities. Oh, and then the Lish or Necro or Warlock have their own passive trees. So you have your Acolyte passive tree, and then these guys will have passive trees. And it, like I said, there's a lot, man. It like really so much customization and it's all like fairly well balanced. Like you really aren't going to overly gimp yourself picking one thing over another. So Necro, yeah, we can get Skeletal Mages. And this is what I played before. I think I did get to that because I remember having Skeletal Mages. I kind of want to go Lish. Let's see what that does. Channeled spell that targets three enemies around the target location, dealing damage over time and leeching back. Like that. An Aura of Decay. Okay. Don't think we really need to look at that. That seems obvious. Death Seal. Target to remove all ward and seal your health, preventing it from going above its current value for five seconds. Deal more damage equal to your percent missing health and take less damage equal to half. Okay. Reaper form. <laughs> Take on the mantle of death itself and transform into a reaper, temporarily gaining the reap ability. While in reaper form, your health regen does not apply and your health decays over time. When your health reaches zero, instead of dying, you transform back to human form and are healed to full health. 20 second cooldown. I kind of want to be a lish. I kind of want to be a lish. I think that's I think that's where we're gonna have to go. So if we're gonna go that way, then we should probably lean into this melee style that we're kind of flirting with right now. So if we're gonna lean into melee style, um Spirit Plague, what's that do? Curses the target with powerful necrotic damage over time, which lasts three seconds, spreads to a single nearby target on target death. Ooh. Ooh, hungering souls calls forth five hungering souls. So I like that a lot. I want to mess with that. I think we need to. I think we're gonna. I, 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 yeah, we're gonna do harvest. We're gonna do harvest. Get up there. Get up there. Okay. So now that we can harvest people, reduces enemy resistance. Okay, we like that. Instantly kills enemies that are below a certain threshold. And that threshold is 4% per point. So with three points, any enemy below 12% health dies. Chance to cause them to bleed. Okay. Chance to poison them. Like that a lot. Uh, grants you ward when it hits a cursed enemy. Yep. I like that a lot because they're going to be cursed. I'm going to be cursing them. Um, harvest does a larger area. Okay. God, five points. We could do a hundred percent area. Yeah. I, I kind of want this ward. That'll give us a little more survivability. We'll play with that. We'll play with that. We'll just see what we think of it. I'm right. Sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure. That and then I want to change. I mean, this is a good ability. We're not really using this one. So let's, let's just swap that out real quick for this. Okay. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first... Who do the keepers adhere to? Our... Mm -hmm. They sent no treasure to see for Lagon. Yeah, no so he's whining that the keepers aren't like a nation. They're not... Well, they, they don't owe allegiance to anybody. Savages. They're just a, like a, an alliance of people who their don't have a country. Seems, how can they claim a greater connection to its error than us? I don't know, man. servants of Raya, the inheritor of her domain. No. It is Fucking zealots, dude. These Ryla people are so... They're such zealots. I hate zealots. Not a fan. Not a fan. Good. 
Oh, hi. Did you just eat him? Oh, fuck. Oh, you just... Okay, that sucked. They just took off with our man. Nobody steals my man, motherfucker. They went towards the Highland, where the Ospricks are based. Not for... Bro, we are about to fry some chicken. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, they're the fiery ones, so I guess they're already fried. I don't know. We're about to gravy some fried chicken. I, I don't know. You, you come up with it, but go back to camp. I got this. I mean, do I, though? Do I? Return to the Keeper's Camp and speak with Keeper Lena. Okay. I mean, what's over here, though? What's over here? There's more map. I want to explore it. A chest. This is why we explored. Hello? Hello? Shards? A staff? What do you mean? What do you mean? Put that bullshit in my inventory, son. Ooh, dodge rating. One strength. Fuck. Worthless. Oh, we've got to be able to, like, break this shit, dude. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I think we can just teleport, right? Yeah, we need to go back to the keeper's camp. That's easy. Travel. <laughs> Click. Okay, go talk to what's her name. Oh, we got somebody here, maybe? What's this? Just a locked chest. Hello? Grail took off somewhere, said he found something in the mountains that will aid so-and-so. All right. Some kind of weapon, okay. Are you the crafter? Who's the crafter? Are you the crafter? It's blessing. No, I don't want to talk to the farmer. It's blessing. Oh my god. Prayers be with you. You are not Okay, I guess he is the farmer. He doesn't look like a Okay. Alright, I'm just Prayers dumb. With you. I'm just dumb. I'm being dumb. Intelligence, cast speed. I mean, that is good. I guess we'll just sell. Ooh. Hmm. Now nah, we'll just sell. We'll just sell. Bone mask with eight mana. Thirteen armor, fifteen poison resistance. I mean, why would I not wear the one with the armor or the mana? Duh. Oh, because that one's even better. A lot better. I think I do remember now that you have to you have to get runes of shattering. Yeah, it destroys an item creating a random number of affix shards. That was it. And and so it's 2000 gold. I only have 1100 right now. So yeah, these early items it's not as big of a deal to do that. Um let's change these skills. We want to change that to No, we do want that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's my oh shit button. 4 is my oh shit button. 3 is my my get my skillies out. One and two are my primary attacks right now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what you got to say, Lena. Okay? She's so cute. Where's Balthus? Uh, well, we got bad news. We got what? some bad news. What happened? Yeah, yeah, there was a Drake. That must be Orion. If he captured Balthus, he's in danger. Ah, uh, gee, you think he's in danger? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Also, um, I'm, I'm reminded, I, I forgot to mention this earlier, uh, probably most of you have seen it, but in case you haven't, the gods of Twitch long ago blessed us with a shitload of emote slots, and um, and I had filled up the emote slots that I had, because I'm just a little guy, I'm just a little baby affiliate, and so I filled up the emote slots pretty much, and now they have given us a ton more some time ago they gave a bunch of bonus slots and they also unlocked the ability to have free emotes to all affiliates and that used to be like a partner thing i think um or or if not it was like affiliates who had some threshold that i never met but anyway so now everybody's got that shit what that means is that we have a metric fuck ton of emote slots open 
If I, would, um, I think I have one free emote slot, which means it's an emote that anybody who follows the channel can use. And then I have, I think, six static subscriber emote channel uh, emote slots. And by static, I mean just a just a, a standard emote image, right? And then seven, I think, animated emote slots open. So I've created a thread on the Discord exclamation point Discord for um, in the in the primary chat channel, the uh, the courtyard. I made a thread there to um, ask for emote suggestions. If any of you have an emote you want or think the channel needs. Um, Lannis calls for aid. Lannis doesn't know. So, I mean, there's a few I can think of, like um, like some kind of like hello, some kind of cozy. You know, those are two I thought of right off the bat. Um, you know, it's like sometimes streams will have like a bored one. I kind of don't want a bored one because I don't want to know when you guys are bored, like, because it'll hurt my feelings, <laughs> you know. But, um, you know, like if there's an emote, you try and like if you can think of Think of other channels you like or like the emotes you use in other channels and like why you use them, you know, and like, oh, this is something that's missing in this channel, you know, because like in my case, I like and I, I kind of explain this in the thread. I like emotes to be used to convey either like an emotion, a short message, a feeling rather than specifically like meme emotes, you know, that's not to say that an emote that conveys a feeling can't be related to a meme. It absolutely can. But you know, what I mean, like rather than just like um hey let's get a last epic emote or last epoch emote or like hey let's get a some kind of emote signifying that Lannis mispronounces epoch like it, that doesn't have like a communication thing it would just be like hey that's a, that's an emote are you going to explain what that means no you had to be on the stream or whatever you know what i mean i don't like those i do like it like you know like Lannis in a little planky it's cozy you know so okay you use that when you're feeling cozy when the vibe is cozy you get the idea um I see some I see some stuff here. I'm so bad at emote suggestions. No, you're not. You're great at them. I am not working on a cozy. I would never. Okay. I'm glad you're not working on that. And and that's good because it means I don't have to keep an eye on my DMs to, to see what you're not working on. I can show you what I have so far if I was working on if you want. Of course you can. You can do that anytime. Or you can surprise me at the end. That is your discretion. But um, yeah, I mean, I'd love a cozy emote. We definitely need a cozy. I see um, Emmy suggested, uh, I want, nay, I need a wave or a high. I, I think that's good. And I think animated, yeah, Emmy suggests uh, like a hello and an animated one, which I mean, like, honestly, you know, my little welcome to stream thing that pops up when you first pop into chat is basically like what I was thinking of. And that's one that maybe I could just make. I could just take that. I think I have that video file and I could just make a make a gif of it and and put it in it's a little bit of work but i can do it <clears throat> good god one of the cats waving of udo Wing. see the the beans one that athena made um was originally like that's my hello one because it's you know it's oscar waving and it's just cat beans but um it doesn't really translate as hello because it's not moving and and like originally it was just supposed to be beans because you know cat beans who doesn't love cat beans and um I think in practice, some kind of animated one would work better, but like, like a waving Lannids might, might do pretty well. I am peachy now. I am peachy now. Stop changing your name. I can't keep up with it. An Osprey's <laughs> general. I do love He's your hedgehog emote. What happened to the artifacts Balthus was protecting? They took it. That must be what they were after. Uh, no shit, you think? We have to save Balthus. You think? Get him and the Epoch back. Okay, where would they go? Not far. I have to organize a group. Go out. Are you sure? I could gather soldiers. Have them come with you. No, we'll just go murder everybody. Into an entire army of Ospreys. I got this. Stay safe. Stay alive. I love they're just like, well, fuck it. Let them go. I guess we can't stop them. Like we're not strong enough. So fuck it. Just let this, let this mysterious necro walk in with her army of the dead and, and murder everything for us. So we have some kind of optional quest over here. Okay. We have an optional and a regular both in the Ulatri Highlands. It took me a second to look at that. You just said I made the beans, but it was peach. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. For some reason, I did think you made those. Um, this is why I have emote attribution turned on, because I can correct myself and look at that. To be honest, just goes to show how same brain we are. True, true. Well, I mean, and the style of them is very, very similar. Like, the, that very much looks like 
Um, yeah, when I look at it closer, the little diamonds, like that's clearly peach. The paw itself, though, I could see either of you drawing that paw 100%. And that's also why, Athena, because you put the beans on the chili. That's why they got mixed up in my head, 100%, 100%. But um, yeah, so all, 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 all forgiveness to peach. Doesn't matter. Peach isn't even here anyway. What do we care? Man, not showing up. You get miscredited if you don't show up to this stream, and that's all there is to it. No, Peach has got some shit going on. They they, they they told me about it earlier. So they're going to try and be in if they can, but they may not be able to be here today. And that is that is totally valid. As I said yesterday, I do not expect everybody to show up to every stream ever. Ooh, ooh. I am digging the melee. Right as I come in to check on you. God damn it, Peach. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Well, we've been having fun hacking shit up. We're, we're, we're a dead bitch, head bitch. Um... We're gonna, I think we're going to become a lish, Peach. I think we're going to be a lish, and I think I'm pretty cool with that. Because if you're going to be a war, you know, if you're going to be master of the dead, be the master of the fucking dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, quit quit playing around with rinky-dink bones and shit. Don't, don't play with bones. Become the bones, you know? What, a refugee axe or a refuge axe? What is with this bombardment, dude? I'm not really a fan of that. Not really a fan of that at all. Let's go check this. Let's okay. I see the waypoint. Let's go get that. God damn, we are finding so much good stuff, bro. Oh wow. Okay, ugly, ugly, ugly. Ow! I walked right into that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's nice. I like that a lot. God damn, I can I. I don't even have enough time to pick stuff up, dude. And quit hitting my skeletons, please. You are an asshole. You know that? You're a big, ugly, plant-looking, doofy, crazy... Ugly. Ugly, ugly. Get haunted. Get absolutely haunted. Can you speak? No, you cannot. Jesus. I mean, honestly, just sitting back here and putting my curses on stuff seems to be doing a pretty good job. No, I don't think so. A pickaxe. Ooh. Eventually, I'm going to get to go back and click that, that fucking... Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you guys all just lie down for a minute? Just just take a little nap. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um. Jeez Louise, we got all kinds of shit. I have, like, negative service here, but I love you all. We love you, too. We love you, too. Glad you came to check in on us. I am going to have to peepo piss at some point, but I can't stop the map. I have to, because it'll reset. Oh, hold on. Hold that. Okay. Pickaxe. Okay. Transfer all the materials in. What do we got here? We got gloves. Gloves of the turtle. Plus one attunement. I don't remember what attunement does. Look at all these stats, bro. These are just my stats for damage. Defense. Minion. Other. Look at all these stats, dude. There's so many stats. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Lana's like stats. Attunement. Each point of attunement gives you mana and improved skills that rely on innate magic inside you and your surroundings. Uh, so attunement is like wisdom slash cleric slash primalist power. Intelligence is what I use. Surely. Okay, yeah. Carefully studied magic. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm an intelligence person. So attunement, not so valid. Uh, throwing damage, I don't throw. Armor, who cares? Mm, mm. Oh, increased necrotic damage. Hold on, hold on. Cast speed, fire resistance, spell damage. Increased necrotic damage and health regen. I kind of like I kind of like that increased uh, necrotic damage a lot. Let me do that. I like that a hell of a lot. Increased health regeneration versus health. Uh, mm. What's this axe do? Melee, damage over time. Health on melee hit. Okay, okay, hold on. And then this does increase necrotic, lightning, some dodge, a bunch of extra intelligence. Let's keep this staff though, because this thing's pretty badass. Well, not really, actually. 16 melee for spell but this thing has just straight 18 melee let's see how that plays out let's try this out 
Okay. Feels like we're hitting for less. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I, I take that completely back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Get haunted. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, we're, we're kind of shredding things. I'm here for it. Try and go find this, uh, this, this lady who's missing. She's down here somewhere. I love when she just walks up and just bitch slaps them into the next universe. Oh, fuck, 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 nope, 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 nope. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, I reject that. I wholly reject that shit. Wholly reject that shit. Nope, nope, nope. We good. We good. We good. Why don't you guys have some of that and a little bit of that? And, uh, and, and yeah, we can just, you know, we can just do without it. We can just do without it. You know what? You can stop. You can stop any fucking time right now. That's what I thought. I told you. I told you. You could stop. You didn't. So I stopped you. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Raven. Beer? Plus one potion. Huh? I mean, beer is very valid. Okay. What did we get? Anything else interesting? Let's see what we got. Got a, a wand? Don't care. Nope, don't care. Minion health. Hello? Hold on. Mm. Vitality, intelligence, movement speed. Ooh, ooh. That's better in every way. Increased health regen. Movement speed and health regen. Let's put that over here. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 The Ospreys used this as bait. Set out a distress signal. They plan to ambush anybody. Oh. Oh, she did. Sucks to be you, honey. All right. No. No. Yeah. I love it when they all just die like that. It's great. Oh, that's so satisfying to do. Bro. Need to need to click our levels here. Oh wow, we yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot. Oh man. Okay, I will. I will. As soon as I'm safe, okay? I think that's fair. All right, I'm safe. Meow. You had to do it right now when I got to go people piss, though, man. I got to go people piss when I'm safe in the next map. Okay, there's your cat ears. There's your cat ears, Rave. All right, let's see what we got. What we got? Mm, we're going to put that passive point there. Oh, we can now summon a bone golem? I like that a lot. I mean, we're kind of getting away from minions, though. I mean, it sucks. We're doing a lot of melee, but we're doing minions. We're kind of doing we're kind of doing two different things at once, and that's maybe not the play. Okay. We do have some more spec points we can spend. Oh, I can get bone armor now. Hmm. Or I can summon more. Hmm. What's that do? Marrow tap. Skeletons leech a portion of the damage they deal is health. I like. I want bone armor. Okay, and our this can now do stuff. Alright. So, harvest hits deal more damage against cursed enemies. Got your ward when it hits a cursed enemy. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. 
Just bump that damage up a little bit. Okay. Mm. Okay, we got our we got our thing. We got to make it to the summit now. So we got to fight on. That's a lot of dead ticks. Let's double check how long that bone curse lasts. Was it eight seconds, right? Eight seconds. Okay, good. I want to make sure I'm, I'm trying to keep count of it in my head. I want to make sure I'm not like applying it again too early, you know? Thank you for your contribution. I hope she just like, oh cool, it's a whole army, Mo. Engage murder protocol. What's, what, what? There it is. Couldn't figure out how to get over here. Yeah, come on, gather up, gather up boys. Yep, meat for the slaughter. Thank you, thank you. Delicious, delicious. Thank you for your contribution. Get fucked, Birdman. Oh. Well, hmm. What do we have that's garbage? You're garbage, you're garbage, you're garbage. Garbage, garbage. I want to see this pike. Whoa. Nine spell fire damage. We don't do that. 24% chance to cast fire aura on kill with fire skills. Damn. Melee void damage. Damn. Chance to ignite on hit. Chance to slow on hit. This thing is insane. If we had like a fire person, this would be ludicrous. Wow. Okay. This is a lot of junk we don't need, but I don't know. It's, it's you know, insurance. Okay, on we go. We got people to we got people to slaughter. Fools to save. Come on, gather up, idiots. Yep, yep, nope, yep. Ow! Have have some ghosts. Have some ghosts. Nope, nope. So far, I'm liking this this general build. It's feeling it's feeling fun. <laughs> What's this? Oh, ow. Okay, so he's he's kind of sort of nasty. Where is he? Where'd he go? There you are. Wow. What a, what an absolute little little doofus. Yeah, come back in here. Come back in here. Come on, please. Sir, 
You belong to me now. Get in here. Get in here. Come on. Come on. Get my staff. Get my staff. Yup. Yup. That's what I thought. Go pick up the soda shit. Uh, no. No. Leather gloves. Experimental boots of Hubidaba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll take that. Ow. No cursing? Well, what, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is that, that supposed to mean? No. Okay, fine. Fine, I won't curse. <laughs> Rune of Discovery? Those are useful. Ooh. The way those guys scream when they charge, it sounds like the beginning of my raid notification. So every time it happens, I'm like, I'm getting a raid. No, you're not. No, you're not. Nobody's raiding. You're fine. You're fine. Settle down. Ow. Not nice. Okay. Shrine of Wealth. Oh, give... Yeah, that was that was some wealth. Oh, bro. Okay, cool. It's the next level. We'll clear this. I might have to go. Mm. All right. I'm going to I'm going to wait for I'm going to wait for I'm I'm going to Oh my god, 9 minutes. All right. I can do it. I'm going to wait for the no cursing to finish. But if anybody redeems anything else, I'm still going to go to the bathroom to people whiz in between. Okay, we're at the war camp. Let's see what we got loot-wise. We got some looties. Because we can... Whoa. <laughs> oh, mother. My god, look at that. Experimental hide boots of hope. Increased movement speed. Look at these compared to what I'm wearing. <laughs> Not much of a comparison. 22% minion damage. Two minions teleported around you after you use a traversal skill. I don't think I have traversal skills, but still. Dodge rating, void res I mean, twink, get in, get in my whole belly. I just wanted to see what that has. It has nothing that I care about. Okay. I can still feel the flame searing across me, stealing my wing and my eye. Yet... I saw it. Hmm. The flames of prophecy revealed that these rats hid. They a did hide a treasure. Far more powerful than anyone could conceive. True. True. Every trinket I've gathered has been a step closer to this moment. The epoch will be the pinnacle of my collection. True. When I present this to Raya, this power. He will finally You're just some lonely I loser am. trying what to find a trinket for your girlfriend? All for Bro. I can still feel no, no, no. We're not listening to your to your sad thing. Cat ears have ended. So there we go. Cat ears have been... Cat ears have been fully, fully satisfied. Okay. On we go. On we go. We're going to try and beat the, t the, the P timer. I think we'll be able to because it looks like... Oh, no. It looks like we're probably going to have a fight on our hands up here. You know what? Maybe we'll just come over here real quick. Oh. Well, I just wanted to get that. Oh, shoot. There we go. What? Get out of chat. I don't care about chat. There we go. I mean, I do care about you. Whoa, shoot. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> here, have some ghosts. What? Literally looking, I mean, like, yeah, I'm in the middle of the game, and somehow I clicked this stupid app behind it. Okay. Give me your skelly. Ow, I walked right back into that. That was stupid. Get ghosted on, fool. Get ghosted. Cabbage. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I do not like that. Oh, no. Bro, he's... I mean, this guy's pretty badass, though. Like, he looks tight. Ow. Right as he went up. Oh, yeah, he's right in the middle of that ghost field. Ooh, that hurt. No, no, bad. That's it. Take a nap. Take a nap, doofus. Well, I'm restarting the curse timer anyway, because I just swore it's worth it. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him in the ear. I'm restarting a timer on my stream deck. The timer will go off on there, but I, I'm, I have a new timer going for me. Um... Damage reflected. What am I wearing? Oh, that's that's better. Okay. No. And I'm gonna go peepo piss. Cause oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't care. No. Mm, no. Pickaxe of glory hole. No. Catalyst. No. No. We're gonna we're gonna look for a uh, we're gonna look for a filter later. Oh, they kept him in a tiny cage where he had to keep crouched. The shards of the epoch are safe. Who? Yeah, what are they? Most sacred artifact holding great power. Power to travel through time. Aha. Now we're getting into the now we're getting into the game the the, the story part of the game, you know? That's true. He'd be untouchable. Now I find a new course of action. Take the epoch somewhere I can't reach. Which, speaking of, okay. let's head back to camp. I must reach Lena. All right, we got to go to camp. I'm gonna go peepo piss. I'm gonna be right back. I have reset the timer, and um, and then we'll continue playing some last epoch, some last epic. Don't listen to them. Pissing is not banned. Oh, so much better. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, I, I feel human again. Utterly human again. Let me get these other windows out. So in the event I accidentally click out of the game, it's, I don't know how I'm clicking out of the game. I'm literally in the game, which is now sized weird. Is that resizing it for you guys? Yes. So weird. Um, let me just change it here because it, it got squished at some point. Anyway, somehow I was clicking out of it and the window that's behind it was coming up, which no, I was not clicking out of it. It was clicking through the game somehow. We'll apply this and now we'll change it back to 
1080p. There we go. Okay. Well, back to the keeper's camp. Other news, other news, it occurred to me. Um, while I was thinking about it, while I was thinking about it, um, while I was people pissing, I was thinking about it. Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley uh, version 1.6 is imminent. Version 1.6 is going to be the next major version of Stardew Valley. It's coming. It has a bunch of new stuff in it. One of the bigger features is that it will now allow, I think, up to eight players to play on one farm, which is amazing. It's a huge bump over the four we have now. And it's entirely possible that Harpy and I have been talking about what if we did an eight player farm with Harpy and I, where the other six slots are just like kind of generic farmers and anybody can play them. You know, like, I mean, realistically, like, yeah, like, let's say arbitrarily, and I'm not calling you out, Athena, but let's just say Athena routinely plays with us. And Athena was like, okay, I'm going to always play this person. So Athena always plays Ernie. Like we have Ernie and we have Joe Bob and we have, you know, uh, 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 Emily Watford. I, I, all the all the names I'm thinking of are from Stardew, so you know, like that doesn't work. Uh, we have Amy, and and da, da da da, and so Athena picks one of those people and routinely plays that person, you know. But then, like, oh, you know, dang, Athena can't make it, so now we, I guess we just don't have that farmer. Well, theoretically, somebody else can come in and play that farmer, you know. So I, I think it could be fun to have like a big eight-player multiplayer farm, or six or whatever the number is, and chat can join in and and we can all farm together. I think it could be fun. Let's go, let's go, let's go deal with our junk. Tell this farmer about his daughter. Sorry, bro. Recover their bodies once it's over. Spread them into the gardens. That's going to be some stinky fruit. Okay, well, we got some stuff, experience, and money. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's valid. Well, you buy this, and this, and this, and this, and I can't even use those. And, uh, that. And this I want to wear. And that I don't want. And I want to transfer the materials. Ooh. <laughs> Increased minion health. 20. Ow. So, welcome in, Az. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Uh, that is Harpy. That is Mr. Bear. That is our favorite camping spot at the Chickasaw National Recreation Area in Oklahoma. Um, and it was a ferocious rainstorm. And that idiot got out from under the canopy so he could go out, go out and sit in the puddle. We were under a canopy there. Harpy and I were sitting under a canopy enjoying the rainstorm. And the dog just was like, no, I want, I want this puddle because he's such a water dog. He hates the rain. But he loves bodies of water. He'll go get in any lake or stream or anything like that. He's all about them. <coughs> so he had to go sit in the puddle because we were refusing to take him down to the lake. He kept pointing at the lake and going, because he wanted to go sit in the water. And it's like, no, dude, it's pouring rain. It's a thunderstorm. We're not going to stand in the lake in thunderstorm. You know, it's dumb. So we didn't. And he didn't like that. So he sat in the puddle to protest. And that's where the dog, that's, that's what the dog was doing. Ooh. Hmm. I think we can, I think what I'm using is better. This spear is pretty nice. I'm going to put that in the stash just for a different character, maybe. And this ring I want to look at. Uh, control. All right. So yeah, we, we do have some garbage rings on. Damage over time, minion health, health. Oh yeah. We'll just, we'll replace it with this ring right there. And sell that one. All right, we're going to put this one in the stash. Be with you. Back in at home. Welcome, welcome. Welcome home. So we found some stuff. We beat up a big ugly. And um, and, and now we're now we're, we're going to go talk to the boss lady and see what she's got. Because we found the last epoch. Or we found, we found the epochs. And then... And, and it's all thanks to you. I know. You're welcome, Lena. He's been quiet since he returned. If you could speak with him, I'd be grateful. He's traumatized. I mean, understandably, he kind of, you know, went through hell. Um, let's spend our points. Okay, so we spent all four of those points. What else should we spend on? Oh, yeah, I want Revenant. I want Revenant. 100% I want Revenant. 
I don't take a lot of damage, but when I do, I want I want stuff to get screwed up. Also, I want that bone golem. Let's get that figured out right now. What are we not using? Mm. I mean, this oh shit button is pretty good, but I'm I mean it's good as an oh shit button, but I think I'd rather have a bone golem. Because what if I had a bone golem? You know, imagine not having a bone golem. That's such a good high emote right there. I love your high emote, Raven. Now we must protect the Epo. Okay. Find a way so Raya won't get to them. Okay, so what do we do? Hopefully. Eterna left their secrets to us and to us alone. So we're the last keepers. Raya, the chosen uh, people, I understand. Ideas. Though Lena will disagree. Uh oh. Well, we are keepers after all. Protectors of Eterra's past. Collectors of lost history. Do you think we've made a mistake what? going through the motions? Keeping the shards hidden, it's... it's Spark up if you can. Hmm, 134. I can, I can take a little puffy puff. I got I got a few hours. I got a few hours. We'll, we'll spark up. That's valid, Emmy. I'm not going to take an insane hit. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> Smells good. <clears throat> yep. There it is. Drastic times are about. Damn it. <clears throat> now we're this for a minute. Okay. I apologize. You might become part. Of something <coughs> oh, I think we are. We have two shots, but that's enough. I'll keep them safe. Look at this dude being all mysterious and shit. Lena, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sorry to you too. Okay. This is what's best for us all. Okay. What does that mean? With the epoch's power, I'll finally be able to. Oh shit! Oh shit! What did you do, dude? Well, we're now in a new epoch of time. We're now in the ruined era. Some 1300 years later. And as you can see, we're in the same physical location. But things don't look good, do they? At all. And that's what's cool. The maps are the same. But they're in different eras of time, so you get to see them in different stages. In prehistory, when there's no civilization at all, no people. And then when there's people at the height of power. And then when there's the height of the war. And then the ruined time, which is now. And then the end of time, which is like literally the end of all time. Where nothing is left. The shard. It appears to be one of the shards of the epoch that Baltus had. It looks like it has only been here as long as you have. Baltus and the other shard are nowhere in sight. Okay. Well, now we explore. Fun. How? Where? What just happened? Actually, let's go down here because I see a waypoint right below us. Fascinating. Different, but somehow the same. And see, it's the same waypoint. You recognize the little, but but it's not. Ew, 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 ew. Give me that golem, by the way. Look at him, dude. He's so badass. Juicy. No. God, he is a monster. I love him. I love him so much. Screw the skeletons. I want him. He's uh, just big tanky, bro. Look at him go, dude. You can do this. You got this, Raven. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Yeah, I'm loving this, dude. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Whoa. Vitality shard. Okay. 
So we're getting more and more shards now. We're getting to the point where we can start like modifying our equipment a little bit potentially. Especially if we find like if if we find Whoa. <coughs> yeah, he's a he's a big nasty. Love this guy. Mm. What are you growling about? You? Yes, you. What? How do you know me? What the hell? Only rangers and elders are allowed out here. Everyone knows that. Bruh. We are lost in time. You don't look like a cultist. Oh, cultists? Bro. I fucking hate cultists. I can cut up some cultists. Bro. Bro. It's because I'm not a cultist, motherfucker. Last refuge. The dark tar that consumes everything around us. The void. Stanley. <laughs> In other words, it's Stanley. Last refuge is the only place to steer clear of it. If you're not from there, then our last hope. Let's hope our elders don't find any corruption on you. How much you want to bet that's where the other shard is? 100%. Ooh. Ick, 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 ick. Yeah, and those look like the little tick things, but oh, no, they're not. They're wormy, bro. I don't want time worms. They don't want any worms. Like, really? Let's be honest. I'm, I'm willing to put up with, like, I'm willing, I'm willing to accept things in me if I need to, right? Like, that's all right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a modern 21st century man. But not worms, bro. Not worms. I don't want worms. No. No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay, no, they're, they're friendly. They're friendly. Don't kill them. <laughs> Full belly. 18 pieces of sushi. Holy balls. Yeah, that's a good gorge session. What? Something terrible has happened. The wards have collapsed. The void is rushing in. Oh, no. Who are you? Oh. That's not good. So they've the void is is taking over the final refuge. <clears throat> they need the shard to protect them. He's going to get to the bottom of how and why we have it later. What's important is that we present it to the council. Not as great as sushi and Kelly, but still good. Mm. Bro, y'all making me hungry, bro. Whether our wards have fallen by a shard misplaced or you're simply <clears throat> our wards have fallen by a shard misplaced or you're simply the foretold holder we've heard so much about, we have to find out. You are the foretold holder. It's a long story. Find Captain Bravon in the city. He'll ensure you're presented to the elders. Okay. We uphold the council, the leadership of the last refuge. Why don't you guys take it? Because he's in no shape, okay? Okay, so now we have to go to the council chambers. All right. Yes, sir. If it involves killing more dumb shit, I'm here for it. Oh, dude, this is so gnarly looking. Okay. Oh, what do you got? You got a quest? Oh, it's Brave on. You're not fighting off the void. Head to the surface. The refuge is falling. We gotta get to the council. At the city center. Don't get in my way, bitch. Since you're heading out, I got worried that so-and-so's inside. If we find him, try taking him with us. Okay. Ooh. Got another level. Love that. Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome to stream. Welcome to stream. What's this do? Ward? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, that's not invalid, but... Hmm. 
Let's do another point of revenant. Maybe. Okay. that and we got that what minimum skill level increased minimum skill level dictates how many skill points your skills start with when you specialize in them and how many skill points will be retained when de-leveling yeah so we have five points of skeleton or whatever we've now gained a new minimum so if i respec i'll still have one or two levels to spend you know i lose the five but i'll pick up a couple little ones that i can that i can still spend as you level up, your minimum skill level will increase periodically. So we do have some points to spend on our skellies. Mm. I wanted that bone armor. I like them being able to use it more often. I do like that. I like that an awful lot. And now let's look at this harvest. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go kill fools. Let's go kill, kill fools. Oh, we're gonna go get a waypoint. Get the waypoint. Chop, chop, chop. Thank you. You are now chum. I appreciate your sacrifice. You are the sacrifice. Congratulations. Okay, he wants us to save his his mates. Wants us to save Minimus. Okay. Ooh. I think we have. Well, we didn't save them. Where? Well. It's funny. I was like, I'm gonna play a build that isn't pet focused. Pick Snacro. Oh. Wow, he... Oh, that sucks. Well, bro. That boy is no longer stuck in time. Where are you going? Uh, burst through the walls. They're heading to the city. Last refuge is being overrun. Okay. Huh? Another quest? Oh, okay. Get out of here. Farewell. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Alert. Yeah, the combat feels good, though. It's satisfying. It's... It's so satisfying. He would think they'd learn after the second or third, you know, group of them didn't come back. Or whatever. Like, hey, maybe the elevators are actually death traps. Hey, Captain, what... Cap, what if we just didn't? What if we tried to do something else? Oh, ooh. Ow. That hurt. Got a couple of nice items out of it, though. The enemies are actually getting a little tougher now. They take they take more than one hit. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I'm still gonna go around here. I'm gonna. I'm trying to get to this this dude up just north of me. He's, he's one of the optional guys. Ooh, 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 that's a bunch of fools. Let's take a look at our loot, too. Uh, transfer our materials. Ooh, what's this? Increased cast speed. All right. Ward gained on potion use. Pfft, couldn't care less. I hardly drink potions. Uh, doesn't feel that good. Doesn't feel that good to me, actually. I think we're just going to leave that, that thing alone. Oh. Lightning, damage over time, health regen, movement speed. 
Well, yeah, we'll take it over that for sure. Dark pickaxe. Oh. Hurricane Spike Greats Club of Sleet. Huge melee. A chance to make them bleed. Lightning damage. Increased crit. And a chance to chill. I mean... Come on. We can try it out. We can just try it out and see what we think of it, you know? I mean, a little... Wow. Okay, so they all basically went yeet. Yeah, it kind of hits hard. A little hard. I keep seeing my golem and freaking out, thinking that, you know, he's not on my side. Oh, an amulet. It's glowing, whatever it is. Garbage. Ooh. Not terrible. 48% minion health? Actually, not, not terrible at all. Oh, okay. Here's that amulet. There you are. What's this thing? Oh, it's a unique. We got our first unique. Well, I guess we probably don't need to look at this blue amulet, because surely we're going to put this on. The Bleeding Heart. Increased melee attack. Increased throwing attack. 27% less health regen. 8.3% damage leeched as health. You are inflicted with bleed when you cast a spell. No. That's not good for me at all. Okay. Well, let's do look at this then. 48% minion health. I like that a lot. Increased melee attack speed. Increased throwing. Who cares? Necrotic damage and minion health. I mean, that's an obvious yes. Yes, please. Give. Get out of here. Cool. Do. Now we've got to run back. Got to backtrack a little. Not a big deal. Run speed's also not terrible. It's a little slow, but um, I don't have anything buffing it, so I'm sure it's probably... Whoops. I'm sure it's probably... I just randomly... Don't you hate it when you just whip out your scythe and, you know, randomly swing it at nothing? Who doesn't hate that, right? Jeez, I mean, we can all identify. When you're trying to harvest the dead and there's no dead near you, you know, isn't it terrible? Okay. Um, yeah, run speed feels pretty good. I wouldn't mind it a little faster, but I'm sure there are um, plenty of skills and things that are going to give me increased run speed. Sure. Boo boo do do do. Phenomena. Do 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 do. Phenomena. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe a little zealous to run in. Ow. Damn. Sir, that was kind of hard. You know, did you need to punch me that much? I don't think you did. Okay, we can go back this way. Good, good. I don't think so, sir. Nope. Gods be with you. Okay. That I think is all of them. Yes. Evacuation has been successful. Got some shards. Got a pickaxe. Got a big old pike. Yeah, no. No thank you to any of that. Alright, now we just have the main quest to do. Ah, fuck. Not going that way. Where? Well. Get a bit of a hike back now.
Ooh, I forgot that chest. Get out of the way, Bony. Come on now. Lots of shards. Okay. I guess I already dropped that, didn't I? Well, well, it's not my fault. I'm just a silly little guy. Head northeast toward the council chambers. Yeah, this is definitely our way to go then. Ooh, hold on. Mana, physical armor. Eh, nah. Crit strike, health regen, cold lightning resistance. Hmm. The one we have just is straight pumping damage, though, and I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that more. Right. Now. Some kind of some wah. Oh, well, he dropped some fun. We'll look at those in a minute. Whatever they are, they look good. There's an amulet and a hatchet, I think it said. Sit down, punk ass, head ass, dead ass. Glad we went up there, though. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, sucks to be you guys. Scream for us. Have a good trip. Ooh, mama. Increased crit massively. Increased minion damage. Hello, hello. 48% minion health. Okay, our minions haven't been dying. So, but this is not a lot, but increased crit, bro. Yup. Damage leached his health. Increased physical. A chance to bleed. 11 melee damage. <sighs> like, that's not that good, bro. That's not that good at all. Especially compared to this pickaxe that we got way back when. That's kind of a piece of junk. Big two-handed sword. 30 damage. Increased melee. Increased physical. Health on kill. No, I'll keep the one I have. The one I have is better, man. Let's go. I like this big club. I'm, 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 I don't have a lot of defense, but boy, it just, it, I, I call it Splatterhouse, you know? Uh, you were doing fine on that before I came, bro. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm just gonna mute. I'm just gonna mute. I shouldn't be trusted with the microphone. <coughs> ow! Ow! Bro! Ooh, ooh. Unkind. Unkind. <coughs> there. Glyph of Chaos? Another thing? A cryomancer's traveling staff of glory. Holding. Okay. Do, do, do. We have made it to the council chambers. Okay, well, we see. Ah. Wrist is starting to be grumpy. I don't think we're going to go super long today. I probably will stop it around that 3 o'clock time frame. The, um, my wrist and shoulder have been bugging me because I've been sitting in, sitting at the office chair too much. And not, not giving them their time off to heal. Every time I, I like take a little bit of time away, you know, like on my off days, I'll like go, you know, use the laptop somewhere else or something. And it starts to feel better. And then I'm like, cool, I can go back and go gonzo in the office. So I come and spend the whole fucking day in the office or, you know, like, like the last few days in particular, I've spent the time in the office. And then also 
um, like stayed in here all evening with Harpy while she's working. Also, Athena, I see a message from you. I, I see him. Only click if you really want to see. Yes, yes, yes. Please continue with what you're doing. Please absolutely continue with what you're doing. <laughs> Depending which oh, you're gonna do that one. Okay, you're gonna do that one. I was thinking it would be I would think it would be Mr. Mia. Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Stan's new name is now Mr. Miyagi, not Miyagi, M-Y-A-A-G-I, Miyagi. He's totally Mr. Miyagi. Uh, if you're feeling lucky, would you like to gamble? I don't particularly love the gambling, but yes, we can. Okay. Good luck out there. We all need it now. Boop, 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 boop. What? Oh, thank you. He's going to allow us to do him a favor. Hmm. He needs a ledger. Okay. Go on then. Which is what the gambling guy wants. Yeah, that one because Mia and Bear have full face emotes and the other. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. You're you're absolutely right. Okay. Ooh, a passive, some experience, level thirteen. We're getting we're getting closer to getting to unlock them masteries. Smile upon okay. you. This is the point respect person. Yes. This is where we can sell stuff. We got a little bit of junk to sell. We'll sell that and that and that. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's pretty good right there. That's for uh for mages though. Okay, let's look at this one-handed sword. 14 melee damage, increased crit, melee cold damage, and health. Okay, now hold on. That's actually not that bad. Yeet. <laughs> and the staff. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that one either. Okay, and she's selling a commander's ritual stone. Ooh. Runes of Shattering. This this is what you can put this in the crafting panel. That's how you shatter stuff. If you have a rune of shattering, you throw this in the crafting panel with the item and it destroys the item and you get a random number of shards out of it. You won't get all of them, but you'll get some of them. And then there are other ones you can do where you will get all of whatever like particular thing. So we have we have some shards already. Um also I'm gonna I'm gonna Probably not save that pike because it's not that good. I forgot. I, I do that every yes. time. Shop, sell. There we go. So we can buy these, but we don't really have anything important to break right now. But as an example, like if we look at the crafting real quick uh, with that. <clears throat> if we look at the crafting real quick with that. There we go. Took me a minute. I can look at any uh, anything. So like, for example, if I put this, this big two-handed mace in there now. Okay. You can see it has the prefixes, melee, lightning, and crit, and it has the affix of incre a chance to chill. And then an affix that's missing, and it has 24 forging potential. So if I want to add an affix, I just click that, and here are the ones I have. Health on kill, chance to blind. Those are the only ones I have. But I can put health on kill. Cool. Now it will add that, and it will take 1 to 18 forging potential. I can also throw a um, a rune in here, I think, right here. Yeah. So a rune of refinement will reroll the value of all affixes on the item. A rune of discovery will fill in blanks on the item, which is kind of nice. And then up here, you can use a glyph. So I have a Glyph of Chaos, which will just basically reroll the item. There are also Glyphs of Hope, which will let you do the reforging without taking any forging potential. So the more you work on the item, the less you can work on it later. You know what I mean? Like, there's only a set amount of shit you can do to any one item. And and um, it's pseudo-random. So anyway, we're not going to mess with that item. Oh, shit. We're not going to actually forge that. 
But we will look at the other ones we have. Because maybe one of them can be beefed up a little bit, you know? Not really. <laughs> yeah, like our gloves here, if I were to just use a rune of discovery on it, we'll get the other affixes on it. And just boom. It'll, it'll become an immediate better item. So... What we probably want to do is do that to any uh, yellow item that's not fully affixed up. So, like, let's try this one. So, this one we could use a rune of discovery on. This one we could use a rune of discovery on and get one item. Same. I think all of them are going to be like that. So, let's take something that's already got pretty good stats on it that seems good. And um, and then think about it. Like those, I'm not in love with them. Same thing. Minion damage is good. Mana regen, don't care. We're not having problems with mana. This purple item is pretty damn nice, though. So it's already got all this stuff. There's really not much we can do to it. Like these, you can see here, it's got dodge rating. So I can actually upgrade the level of that and give it more dodge. I can upgrade this and give it more intelligence. And that will take one to ten forging potential. So you can knock up the skill points on. You can you can add new stuff. Later you can rip stuff off. You can increase the level of it. I mean, you can really tweak the items to be what you need them to be, which is pretty cool. I keep closing that and forgetting to take my item back. That's a that's a common thread with me. So I'm thinking of all of these. What can we add here? Minion damage? Hello? Hello? No. Eh, eh, eh. No, I don't want to upgrade, bro. I don't want to upgrade. I want to add an affix. I just want to add a, or a suffix. I want to add a suffix. Available to be applied. Okay, we can add dodge rating, fire, health, health regen, physical... Mm. No... We can increase the uh, lightning resist. No, none of those. None of those sound fun. Dang it! All right. You know what? Let's just let's just adventure on because we'll get we'll get more gear. We'll get more gear. Let's make sure and click the waypoint. Okay, waypoint has been clicked. Let's talk to Doofus. You. Older I Gaspar. You have a shard of the epoch. But that is impossible. Who I see. So they've had this shard for a thousand years. Of our shard for ages, always assuming that you were brought forward in time by the shard. If you want to return to your time, mm -hmm. we will need to use them together. If the void does not consume well. us first. So the what is the void? The void, fell upon our the void began of years ago, when we broke the shard, when we joined the shards. Well, spread across the surface and drove us into these caves, the last city of humanity, well, last refuge. Now that the void, yeah, has so finally the void is eating everything, all of existence, basically. Place. This is the last city. It's Zion in the Matrix, and the void is breaking in finally. Elder Pan, I have Oops. received word. Everyone here is either too. So we need to go warn Elder Panyon. Please find him and please take these An idol. idols okay. with you. An idol oh. of Logon to guard you against chaos. And, one and an idol of Atera to guide you home. The gods have long okay. left this world. But their memory will give you comfort. Four idle slots. Be safe. Let's go. Traveler. So this is another system, but it's this is a pretty cool one, I think. And we open up our character sh no, we open up our inventory. We now have this idle area. And here you get to play Tetris. So we have these two idols, and you see I can put this one, it's two slots tall. I can put this one there. And this one's too wide. Or I can put this one, but I can't do both right now. Later, you eventually unlock all of these except the middle square. And then you get different idols with different abilities and different shapes. And you have to... You get the idea, right? Like, damn, this one has all the skills I want or whatever. 
but it's the wrong shape. It doesn't fit in my current thing. So you either have to find other idols that fit it, or you have to accept a, a suboptimal number of idols, or you get the idea. You get the idea. Like, this is a whole big thing to optimize. Um, and that's kind of cool, I think. Increased necrotic, increased minion necrotic, and some vitality. Eh. Gain ward when hit. I would rather have that. So, let us go... Do you have another have quest? No. Me, 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 me. Gonna go hit the hit the stash here real quick, and uh, and put this put this in here. Also, these I'm pretty happy with the thing we have. I'm gonna get rid of these. Yes. The weapon we have is fine. Follow it's doing friends. good. And then what's this down here? There's a gold thing up here. What's going on? What happened? Okay, so Ezra's library is a totally unrelated quest, um, and we'll go we'll go mess with that in time. The door is sealed by a powerful rune. Well, why can't I enter? Why can't I enter, bro? Like I have an indicator right here. What am I missing? God, I hate it when I'm missing stupid, obvious stuff. I can't talk to anybody. Bro. It's like, oh yeah, there it is. The very middle. You gotta click the very middle. Nope. There's there's a trick to this, I remember. Cause I remember having to look it up or like people talking about it, so I knew about it. But I don't remember what it was. Huh. I must have missed something. Let's go back and talk to Doofus again. I was kinda skimming. I was kinda skimming a little, you know? We have little time. Please oh, find that doesn't him. help. I mean, it's not this way. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where do we need to go? The cultist camp. Okay. Holy balls. Yeah, we do need to go that way. Well, how are you not letting me do that? You know what? Let's uh, Let's do this. We'll bounce out. Yes. Leave the game. Go back to character selection. Get a give it a good hot moment to save. Okay, there we go. She looks a little funky, doesn't she? Ooh, she looks creepy with that blood on her and her stringy ass hair. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if that mattered. I don't think it matters, but... The door is sealed by a powerful... What did I miss? Get it, bro. Why can't I not go through my door, dude? Mm. I swear it was like you had to click the middle, but... Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe we have to go do the gamble thing. I mean, I don't think you do. That's why I was asking how your cam flips, because I want to put his face right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I know we don't have to go this way, because we can't. That's the end game up there. Huh. Okay. Well, the thing that's flashing is our, our little uh, library area, so we'll just go there. I mean, this is an optional quest, so I was going to do that later, but maybe you have to do the optional first. I don't remember. But then it's really not an optional now, is it? Oh, yeah, it looks like they're both in here. Never mind. Okay. Fine. Yes. You know what you doing, doofus? Oh, okay. You're... you're... Okay. Mm -hmm. He's doing studying. He wants us to leave him alone while he's studying. All right, you do that. You study... 
Oh, look at all those shards, bro. Oh, yeah. This is why we break shit. We break shit because you never know what's going to come out. I hope you weren't having lunch. Sorry. Sucks for you. Do, 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 do. It's my food now. I once believed the shards would be safe mm. where the gods this is... could not reach in the future. Yeah, this is I our boy. Mistaken. The first elders are dude. I find myself in a ruined era. With only one shard left by my side, my purpose is clear. I must seek refuge, mm. prevent others from this power, and locate the rest of the epoch. The last epoch. What happened when I tapped into this power? Why did one shard come with me? Where are the others? That's a good question. Um, yeah, we don't have like a... I mean, there is something up here. Way, way, way up here. This is our actual quest is up here. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Love seeing dots on stuff now. Better items. Let's go. Yikes. Yikes. No. Bad? No. It turns out I am not entirely alone. There are people who seek refuge, a means for survival. The Ultari these were once the Ulatri Mountains. Is this what becomes of my I offered them shelter? Mm. The tunnels and keeper ruins are still mm. navigational. And with their help, we can build something new. Okay, okay. Here, I will guard what little of the epoch I have left and find a way to protect us. This is not the end. All right, so he uh, he's trying to set up a refuge. Well, tried. He did, obviously, because the people are still here. Ooh. Jerks. Careful. Oh, juicy. Beautifully juicy. As quickly as I came here, it is now as quickly as I came here. It is now time to go. Last refuge is as safe as it can be. Okay. It is time I hang up the title of Elder Balthus. With that, I begin again. Begin again? What here do you mean? I leave my knowledge. The records of Itara's past and the millennia of wrongdoings that created this world. I am disturbed by this era, but it is not a mistake. It is the consequences of our actions. History well, is not observed. It is made. It's got a, it's got a relatively uh, a kind of stoic, enlightened attitude about it all. But uh, I mean, you, you kind of did do it, dude. You kind of did do it. You did it for a good reason, but you did do it. So maybe don't be quite so glib. Why are you laughing, bro? Why are you laughing? Oh, they're void touched. The right. If you read this, I am gone. Keep lost refuge safe. Fight off the void. Do not succumb to despair. Oh, well, easier said than done, my man. I trust you all. You are my people, which is why I must go. May Terra protect you all. Okay. Wait, that's a shrine. What do we got? Hay shrine. Oh, yes. Father loves hay shrines. Fast as fuck. Fast as fuck. Out of my way, I'm fast as fuck. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Do, 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 do. Penyon study. Okay. We've made it to the study. Let's look at our let's look at our bits and bobs. What do we got? We got a we got a hibidima. We got a hamana. We got a huh. 
And we got a deja vu. Okay. That is garbage. That is not garbage, necessarily. Gain some intelligence, gain some vitality, pick up resistance, gain a shitload of armor. Yes, sir. Sold. Okay, 30 damage. Fire, void, chance to bleed. I like the crit and I like the chilling. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say no to that. Ooh, a minion health offhand. All right, we're going to hold on to that. Okay. Talk to one of his students. Sure are getting handed off a lot. It feels like, you know, everyone's pawing us off to someone else. You know what I mean? I don't know how I feel about that. You're looking for Panion? He's already left to take the shard and face the void himself. He will fail. It's too late for us, and soon it'll be too late for him as well. It's too late for everyone. Oh. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been like two minutes. What are you talking about? What do you what do you mean? Look, it's him. You paid for it. Well, I'm not gonna drink the titty milk. I'm gonna drink this. This is tea. I'll double hydrate. There you go. There you go. Double hydration. Double hydration. <clears throat> Excuse me one quick sec. Let me uh let me double check this. Oh fuck. Gotta put my password in. I told you it's long. I'm still typing it. There we go. And then usually I'll like fuck it up and I'll have to do it again and I get so angry. Okay, okay. Just wanted to double check and make sure I didn't have anything crazy outstanding. Got to keep an eye on the on the on the jazz. Whoa, whoa! Get out! Get out! Oh fuck that! Fuck that noise utterly! Okay, I've. That is so weird. The mouse is like flitting around to random weird spots sometimes during these fights and and hitting oh shit oh one of your brothers is dead one of your brothers from another mother oh shit 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 nope 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 I don't like that I don't like that at all that's a mage ability what a little bastard oh my god what an even bigger bastard look at this he didn't give us anything good the Pike of Stone. Fuck off. No. 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 Do you have anything good for us? No. This is all garbage. Ooh, four potions. All right, that's not terrible. Three potions, mana, minion damage. I like minion damage, bro. Well, how disappoint. How completely disappoint. Um, what do we have to do? Return to Elder so-and-so. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that in a hot minute. But first, we're gonna go. We're gonna go find the ledger that's missing back in the archive. We're gonna go dig that up. See if it rerolled the zone. It did. Fuck. It's funny. It rerolled the zone, but the loot's still here. It's so. It's so weird how they did that. I mean, I'm not mad. It's more loot, more X. But. Golem's a monster. I love that guy. <laughs> just the way he laughs. It's so over the top that, I don't know, it just works for me. Ooh. Okay. They're not, I thought they were something a little nastier. Like, uh-oh, I think we we're about to get bungused. No, we did not get bungused. We are the ones who bunged. Bung? We are the ones who... Hmm. We're the ones who bunged. I think that would be the right way to say that. I'll have to ask Barbie later. She'll know.
Whew. What did we get? We got a we got an amulet of the flu. Hmm. Mm, I like what we have. Oh. Uh, necrotic damage for me. Mm, hold up, now though, though. Hold up. That's not half bad, bro. That's not half bad. And what you can tell too, uh, yeah. So, like our main, our, our skill here is eighty-one DPS. I can equip the sax, and you see it went down to sixty-four. So you can actually just like play with them and see what's gonna what's gonna give you the best, you know. So like this sword is is giving us uh, better better overall DPS. Pretty significantly. So we'll use the sword. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot of shards. That 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 makes me happy. That makes me very happy. Okay, a couple more here. Whap, whap. I gotta talk to talk to Harpy too about uh, if she wants to what she wants to do this weekend. Got a got a Saturday stream coming up. Haven't talked to her. She she's pretty big on sharing those streams. She really likes joining me for you guys to stream to you guys and with you guys. So not sure what we're gonna do. We got a few options. I mean, she was enjoying Deep Rock Galactic. I think I think that was pretty fun, but. On the other hand, she may want to she may want to strip mine in, in in the old Minecraft. Sorry, I got a scratch on my back, bro. My back is itchy. Lost our golem? That's not acceptable. No, sir. All right, let's also look at our skills. Uh, so S is for skills. Is it P? Yeah, P is for passive. What do we got? Four unspent points. Yeah, we've been we've been neglecting these, haven't we? All right. Well, I'm I'm hmm. Blood Pact. You deal increased damage, but you lose a percent of your maximum health each second if you've killed an enemy recently. Oh. I, I kind of like that, though. You gotta take at least one point of it to get this thing. What's that, dude? That's a straight minion. This is minion attack speed. We'll take that. We're about to get Spirit Plague. Hmm. Okay, what's that do? Curse is a target. That's a single target curse. Mm. Spreads to a nearby target on death. Okay. That's not bad. We'll need to look at that. Hungering souls. What is it? 1.5 seconds. Okay. Yeah, so that does a bunch of damage, but only for a very short time. This does twice as long. It lasts twice as long, excuse me, but only lasts, only hits one target. See, to put that on a group, though, I'm going to have to just sit there spamming it on them. By the time it's on all of them, it's going to be time to reapply it, or they're all going to be dead. I'm never going to use any other ability. So I don't I don't think that's the way to go. Increased health regen, minion health regen, reduced health drain, or chance to poison, or ward retention. Uh -huh -huh. Yep, yeah, let's get a little health regen. No, wait. Oh, I really want Oh, well, I fucked that up. All right, let's do our skills. So now we've got another skelly point. Um, yeah, this is what skeleton warriors can target allies. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. Now we've got two unspent points here. Okay. Improve the crit strike plus three per point. Holy balls. That's, that's huge. And then that would give us... You have increased if you've cursed it with harvest recently. Okay. Steel youth. You have more movement speed if you've landed a crit strike recently. Holy shit. That gets real powerful then. What's that do? Grants you ward. Minions are granted ward. Okay. You should look over here too. Like what's over on this side of the tree? This is the ultimate ability it looks like. 
Blood specters summoned by harvest have a significantly increased... Oh, blood specters? Harvest has a chance to summon a blood specter when it kills something. You cannot summon more than one every two seconds. We need to be working towards that. Because because we're going to like that a lot, too. So what'll it take to get there? Harvest hits instantly kill, and then we'll need to get this. Each hit with Harvest grants a spirit shard up to 13. When you have 13, your next use of Harvest consumes them to do more damage. Also buffs your minions. Oh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, th thank you for the redeem, Raven. If Raven, if you were here when Az redeemed the previous photo, it was Mr. Bear sitting in a puddle because we wouldn't take him to the water. This is what happens when you take him to the water. That's that's Harpy and, and Mr. Bear down at the filthy fucking lake um, at Duncan, the town we lived in in Oklahoma. Um, and, and he just had to go out. I mean, you take him, he just trotted right down to the water. He'd sunk down onto all fours, laid down, and just sat there going. And he's happy as a grig for like the next hour. He's just sitting there, just just grinning and being a, just cheesing it. Just absolutely cheesing it. All right, let's, um, we'll take those two points and we'll continue on. Wow. What jerks? Okay, let's see. I remember what we're doing. We're looking for the uh, wall. We are looking for the for the uh, for the for the for the ledger. I could not remember the word. Yeah, how do you guys feel about that? How do you really feel about that? Because I feel pretty good about you laughing as you as you wither. Alright. Found the ledger. That was easy. Don't peek, just take it. We don't need to peek, it's the man's business. Now we have to decide who to take it to, though. I know that something different happens, like the gamble guy does one thing, but I don't think it's like anything game breaking, like, oh, you didn't give it to the gambler, you'll never be able to gamble. I don't think it's anything like that. You just get like one little quick reward, I think. So I'm not sure. I, I kind of feel like let's take it to the gambler. Our, our, our necro feels like, you know, she's a gamble lady. She hits the slots, she fucks, you know? It's funny, I remember reading about uh, Im Imperial Admiral Yamamoto, right? So this is in World War II, real guy. Um, he led the Imperial Navy. He was the big man in charge of the Imperial Navy. And uh, so he uh, had he had some, some rather unique doctrines and that led to a lot of the Japanese success at the beginning of the Second World War in the Pacific, right? Like Pearl Harbor was an unmitigated success, really. I mean, they, they didn't really like ultimately it proved to be a failure, but at the time, like strategically, they, it, it was like they did a lot of what they set out to do. Um, it only became clear later that that like some of the stuff wasn't as effective or that they, they could have, would have, should have, all that. But, um, you know, total surprise attack. And then he led the attack on Midway, which completely failed. Um, and just, just went, could not really have gone much worse for the Japanese forces and is the turning point of the Pacific War. So anyway, Yamamoto, um, he was interviewing somebody once and, and like a, like a, I don't know, an aide or whatever. And he asked this guy like, Hey, do you like to gamble? And the guy says, no, not really. Yamamoto just walked away. And then later on said like, I don't talk to people who aren't, who don't gamble. You know, who aren't willing to take risks. They're uninteresting. They're they're unchallenging. They're they're not worth time. You know, the only good people, the only people worth spending time with or talking to are people who gamble. And I'm like, fucked. Today I learned Yamamoto would not like me. <laughs> you may find a treasure. <coughs> <my friend. coughs> 
Let's hand over his ledger. So this guy wants Ezra's ledger. Ooh, that's kind of scuzzy. It's actually Ezra's ledger. Well. What? Well. Didn't you promise me a reward? Oh, so he gives us a thing that won't be of value anyway. Mm, that's fine. Goodbye. He gave us white gloves. Oh, they're okay. They're they're actual. All right, that's actually not half bad. That's not half bad. They're terrible for us though. That sucks. Well, so now the gambler is going to be like you, you little bastard. Yeah, see, he doesn't actually care. We can gamble though. Look at it. Look at it. oh, you can buy a cleaver, bro. Hurts a thousand gold. I don't know that I want to spend a thousand gold. Do we want to buy anything? Look at that ugly staff. Sacrificial. I mean, it kind of sounds lowered health cost of spells. Hello. It's good, but kind of not for what we're after. I mean, we're, we got a pretty good item. I don't think I want to buy any of those. Armor? Ooh. Anything new? We got a hood. I like that. I like that a lot more than the ugly thing we're wearing. Hmm. Avian garb. No. Chicken. Oh, dude, that looks like a fetus in a bottle. That is 100% a fetus bottle. Do not use a fetus bottle. That's an acolyte relic. Okay. That is that is that is horrible. 5700. No, thank you. Okay, what do we got? So, we can sell this and this and this and this. We transfer all the materials in. And that and that and that. And we're going to keep that. Okay. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go hit the stash real quick. Hey, what you got? What you got? Armory is being overwhelmed. Hello, Mr. Bear. What you doing? Excuse me. And that is the end of that jug of titty milk. Hmm. Okay, so he wants us to, to find his subordinates and, and give them aid. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Panion's students were corrupted. Elder Panion was here but a moment ago. He took the shard. Uh -oh. I told him to wait. Well he would not listen. Well I fear the void is manipulating him, turning his courage into arrogance. He's left to face the void alone. You must Not good. intercept Elder Panion before the void claims him. And oh no. The shard. Bro, don't no fight the corruption. Him. The corruption always wins. Please. Stop him. Oh, man. Alright, let's let's spend our passives. We got some more points to spend. Hmm. Chance to poison nearby enemies. Hmm. Like that for sure. I mean they should have a little bit of that anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spark up. Uh, let me see what time it is. I can take a little one. I can take a little one. But then I gotta I gotta lay off because I'm gonna be driving to get RP in a bit. Take a little one though. Just a little baby hit. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Yup, 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 yup. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get real quiet if I do that again. <laughs> real quiet. I'm just going to sit here and be like. I wonder which one I should take. Hmm. Hmm. More revenant damage. I mean, that hasn't really been a major issue. Minion health. And that's good. I'll take the extra poison. We'll take the extra poison for right now. We'll do that. I wonder if we should go do this other thing and help out his little doofuses. Where does this go? Okay, it looks like they both go this way. Fair. Okay. Get on to the precipice and get after it. Eventually, I'm going to have to go get a loot filter. Like, again, I'll show you again. Um, so you create a filter. And you can have 75 rules. And, um, yeah, yeah, there's our filter, ah, and we'll just, yeah, sure, 
Okay, so here's our filter. Ah, so we say like, for example, this is really like, these get crazy complicated. This is not something I would do on stream. Like we'll add a character level dependency from level, I don't know, one to 10. Oh shit. Yeah, so from character level one to ten, we're gonna we're gonna have a uh, a condition, and you say it has to be an acolyte item, and you know has to be at least you know I don't know rare, which is yellow. There you go. So that'll that'll make it so it'll only show acolyte specific rare items. But then every other piece of loot, we won't even see it. And I'm, I'm not going to actually use this because you can you can really screw yourself out of out of all your loot if you do it wrong, and I don't want to do that. So we're gonna. This is an area where like sometimes you you do want to maybe go defer to the internet, um, or just don't do it and just look at items yourself. But so many items drop, especially late in game, and since there's no real value to picking them up to like sell them or anything. You really want to limit it to the items that you're looking for. So you make filters to help you track down just whatever you're after. Like for my Primalist, I, I made filters that made me prioritize or only see items with like minion health and minion damage and uh, Primalist skill and you get the idea. It like hid all the blue items. It only showed me, I think... Lunar Lander is going to attempt its landing in little under an hour. Ooh, really? Where can where can this be found, Miss Harvey? Do you know? I'm assuming that's going to be on a YouTube channel. Okay, we hit that. I mean, well, I, I, yeah, definitely got to watch it. That little thing. Is that what NASA's streaming? Yeah, if NASA's streaming, that's probably what it is then. How sweet. We'll take that. <clears throat> it's such a wild channel. It's such a wild world to me that A, NASA streams. <laughs> um, B, because, I mean, they've got NASA TV. They've had that on cable forever, which is what all NASA's online um, streaming is on their, their website it's, and YouTube channel. It's usually just a simulcast of NASA TV. But... Um, so A, that's pretty cool. And B, it's also incredibly cool to me that there's like so many places, not just countries, but also just private entities that are sending shit to the moon. To the fucking moon, yo. I think that's pretty amazing. I had to finish the after hair dye. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Sorry your hands are covered. and get through these guys. Well, I definitely want to go watch that, that Lunar thing later. I don't know that we'll have time to watch it on stream, unfortunately. That would be something, like, I don't I think I've talked about, like, I don't I generally do, like, react stuff, you know, at all. And I don't really like to watch stuff, quote-unquote, for to play games for you guys. I like to watch it. I love watching shit. But I like to... I like to pay attention to it, and I don't want to talk over it, and I wouldn't want to feel like I'm detracting your guys' ability to watch it. So if we watch something, this is what watching something with Lambs would be like. That's it. That's what it would be like for, for an hour or whatever, you know? But that said, I do kind of... Oh, fuck that. I do... Oh, oh. Okay, hold that thought. Um, I, I do want to watch Document 72 hours sometime. Because I think... Shit. I think that would be cool. Okay, let's... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You cannot. You cannot has. You absolutely cannot has. That is that is off the menu. I am off the menu. I am off the fucking menu. Off the menu. No. Bad worm. Bad worm. Get off of me. Get off. Cocksucker. Yeah, that's right. Fuck off, worm. Shy halud ass. You're not shy halud. You're 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 free friggin' 
you're I, I don't know. I can't think of I was trying to think of a way to like make it small, you know, but I can't. I couldn't think of like a, a, a ooh, that's a lot of shirts. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Um I have a purple underlayer and keep my natural blonde on top. Nice. Green currently also nice. Green hair can look pretty freaking cool. Those are really nice, but boy, they're garbage for me, dude. I mean, I think they are, right? Surely. 105 DPS. I put the gloves on. 105 DPS. They don't change anything. The leech is good, but I don't do elemental damage, so they don't really help me at all, other than the resistance. Those shards are really nice, though. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, look, we can't get across the bridge. There's no way across. What do we do? Oh, no, the worm broke the bridge. What's this? Ancient cavern. This is the first time where the epoch is going to help us out. So the epoch sends us back in time. The shard sends us back in time to a completely different time. And now the bridge will exist because it hasn't been destroyed by the worm. Oh, no, it doesn't. We have to go around it. But yeah. But so we're, we're back in prehistory now. And look, there's lizards and shit. And there's no people here. And there's green stuff. And look, it's life. And look at him. He's kind of cool. I mean, the whole ejaculating fire thing sucks. And he should probably look into that. But, you know. Raptors? Who doesn't love raptors? Well, probably everybody eaten by raptors. But if you get eaten by a raptor, you know, you're doing something wrong. Just don't be the corporatist in Jurassic Park. You'll probably be okay. I mean, I'm 47 and I haven't been eaten by a raptor. Been eaten by a harpy. What? Oh, you knew I was going to go there. Don't, you know. Okay, so we made it past. Loot filter. Could not find selected filter. No kidding, you think? And now we can go back to the ruined era, which is where we are. Anyway, I wanted to watch Document 72 Hours with you guys, because I think that would be fun. And, uh, and, and I do want to do that sometime. I don't know, maybe even this Saturday. We'll see. Because they're little, like, 20-minute episodes, you know? 25 minutes or something, I think. So, it's nice and easy. Oh, we will click this. Very good. Done, done. Ooh, yeah. mm -hmm. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Give me the gold. Give me the cash. Sit the fuck down. Get cabbage on. Wow, that's a bunch of fools. I love all these shards, bro. No. No. Yeah, seriously, look at them all. It's great. And the great thing about the shards is you just throw them in your inventory and you're good to go. And when you're in like a seasonal character or whatever, they're all shared. So, you know, you play through the game. And these low-level shards I'm getting right now are the same ones I'll use to add affixes and suffixes. Or affixes in general. Um, even at the highest level. There's a whole nother crafting system that comes into place later for legendary and unique items. Which is different than this crafting. But they both are necessary and both are powerful, which I think is, it's a, it's neat. You know, I like the fact that your low level characters matter for your high level characters too. So it, it doesn't hurt you at all to alt, but you can see like all these crafting materials I just got, you know, these are all great. They're all useful later. Look at this though. What's this? Dark split, great sort of glory, lightning damage, void damage. Hmm, 136. Yeah, no. <laughs> and that we know isn't going to be worth it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, cool. Oh, look, it's a big open circle. There's definitely nothing bad ever happens in circles full of cultists ever. What? Don't don't fuck to my skeletons, dude. Oh, 
ticks. Grody ticks. Dude, like, ticks don't suck enough. Now we got fire ticks. That is not okay. Is, get off of my skeletons, dude. These are mine. Nobody fucks them but me. God damn it. Dude, I... I didn't say anything about the bone golem, so technically that's that's okay. That was my fuck up. I should have told you you can't fuck the bone golem either. Wow, dude, there is so much crap here. Oh, oh. Okay, we're not going to worry about the loot. We're just going to worry about him, 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 him. Wow. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. Utterly fuck you. Nope, 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 nope. I tried to get away. Wow, that hurt. That hurt so much. That fuck. Fuck. Okay, let's try and... Oh, no, 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 no. Easy, easy. See, I have, you know, no, no, problem. no problem at all. Got a glyph. Got some kind of glowy. Oh, it's a set item. Fucking a. Let's go. More, more yellows. Some more yellows. Another yellow. I'm gonna pick up all these yellows. This, this thing has two dots to next to it. I think because it's, um, I think it probably has uh, a level two effect on it or something. I can't remember what that means. It's better. Two dots is better. I must disappear in for a big pull-up. Have a great rest of your stream. Bye, all. See you later. Have a good time, Raven. We will catch you later. Thank you for being here. Love you. We'll look at that in a minute. Potion slot. Health gained on potion use. Increased necrotic. Increased health regen. That sounds like a better thing. 8% minion damage, though, bro. 8% minion damage. Fuck. I don't want to give up the minion damage. Intelligence, Dex, Physical, and Void. Well, I mean, intelligence is good. The armor is way better. All right, we're going to wear it for the armor. And we got a big pike. So what are we doing right now? We're doing 111. Put the pike on. We're doing 68. That's about what I figured. Nope. And, oh, minion damage, necrotic, and health regen. Well, 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 no, no, no. Okay. <clears throat> that feels... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about those other items. Not going to worry about them. Let's get moved up here. Oh, what's this? Visit the crafting forge at any time to upgrade your items by pressing F. Yes, sir. Even though I can do that now. I can do that, yeah. Etera's grace be with you. <laughs> Oh, that wrist is grindy, bro. Mm. Okay, we gotta find the quartermaster inside. We can do that. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. He sounds so, you know, mundane. Like, just totally normal. Like, hey, what's going on? How's it going, guys? You know, like, he's gonna like, smash the like button. You know what I mean? It's just like, a little incongruous. little incongruous, I guess is what I'm getting at. Doesn't quite fit the uh, doesn't quite fit the end of the world, you know, master of the forge vibe that they might. Well, I guess he's not the master, but still. Get our other skelly out. It's a lot of uglies, a lot of uglies. I love when the golem just walks in and is like, "Hey, by the way, fuck all of you." Like, fuck all of you so much. See, that guy, he's what I want to be. That looked like a lish. I want to be a lish. Actually, he looks like a void death creature thingamabob of, of doom. And that's not so cool. But still. I mean, kind of cool. Oh, he's kicking the shit out of my golem, though. You know what? Let's let's check out them. Uh, let's check out those secondaries too. Um, we got the two. So what do we need? We're, we're going for this. I really want that. So we gotta go here. Spirit shards. Okay. And then I need to spend a passive, right? Yep. Um, do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
That dude, this dude, probably he's going to get my golem. He didn't, amazingly. That golem is, is not doing great. He could use a pick-me-up. There's really no way to heal him that I've gotten yet. Ooh, shards. Yes, sir. Thank you. I find the shard stuff very satisfying. I don't know why, I just straight up back to D3. I was like, they're all going to blow up on me. I was convinced I was about to die horribly. Alright, another level. Summon Volatile Zombie. Let's go, dude. I mean, who doesn't want a Bombie, you know? Okay, I'm really, I'm actually really happy that that just came out of my mouth. I really am. I didn't even think about it like that. You know what I mean? Where sometimes you just you just say some dumb shit. So this was like that, except I said Bombi. And I don't know. I think that was funny. So I'm going to take that win for myself. And if you didn't think it was funny, just don't tell me. Let me let me have my delusion for a minute. Let's look at our gear. Look at all those shards, bro. Okay. Got a new dagger. Loving it. Got new armor. Ooh. Ooh. Five intelligence. Three vitality. Okay. Physical cold. So it's basically what we have on. We're going to lose 62 armor. Goddamn. We pick up 5% physical. Two intel. I don't feel like 62 armor is worth it. I really don't feel like 62 armor is worth it. And this staff is meh for us. Okay, got the dude. Now let's go over here. Come on, come on. More ticks. Come on, get out of here. Oh, shards, bro. Shards make me so happy, bro. Okay, got him. Got that big, crazy, goofy-looking thing. 10% of damage. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think it would be as good. It's pretty good, though. It's still pretty good. Well, hello, Mr. Bear. What are you doing? I'm thinking we'll try and get through this, and when we go back to town the next time, it'll be a good cease and desist point. Oh. oh. What? Oh, this. Oh, this is not going to be good. Stay back. What are you doing? Leave me. Run. I can feel myself changing. Bro, you're suspended in air. What did you do? Boss fight. Totally gonna be a boss fight. Elder Panion's body starts to twist and distort in front of you. Oh, great! We can't run. You've trapped us. Ooh, what the hell are you now? Oh, you're you're mean, is what you are. Well, stop hitting my bone golem like that, sir, sir, sir. That was nope, nope, nope. I'd like to leave that, thank you. Ow, ow. God damn. 
He's throwing... How dare you throw boss mechanics at me, sir? I'm not equipped to learn this on the fly right now. That sucked. It's so easy to click out of the game. Like, so for some reason, the game will yank your mouse to the edge of the screen of the window for no reason. Nope. Yep. Ow. Yeah, that's right. Eat shit, doofus. I actually got them now. I gotta say, I'm happy with that. We got some shards. Bro. She's sort of mouthy, isn't she? I kind of love her. Before you lies the shard that Elder Panion had held. It seems to drive the void away, despite being unable to protect the man himself. The shard you hold resonates in its presence, as though drawn to the one before you. Get up. We just shattered time again. Enter the end of time. Oh. So, now we're going to yet another area. The end of time. Unknown year. Yeah, this is like, there's like nothing left. It's just little bits and pieces. Bits and bobs. But our gamble dude is here. These items might be your best bet. Oh. More fetus jars. Love that for us. Let's sell off this garbage. Nope. Nope. Let's look at that set belt. Okay. Increased minion damage. Love that. Intelligence, fire resistance, and melee fire damage for minions. Two set. 5% chance to replenish one potion when Bone Golem hits an enemy. So drink potions all the time. Your summon skeleton spells and attacks deal extra fire, cold, or lightning. The element selected is your lowest resistance. This is a good set. I want it. Okay, so we need pebbles. We need the pebbles set. Noted. Uh, Inventory, dude. Inventory. Yeah, we're wearing that right now. And you, you can talk to us and just buy that shit. Thank you. Yeah, we're not here to gamble. We're just here to make you buy our shit, dude. And here, we'll uh, we'll put this away because this is pretty good. And I don't think this thing matters. Let's talk to this person. You seem a little disoriented. The Hello Forgotten Knight. Hot. This is what is left of your timeline and many others. Oh, it's the end of Welcome all timelines. The end of time. Don't act so surprised. Countless other travelers have come and gone from here. Okay. <laughs> I must have looked that surprise my first time as well. Most of them don't last much longer. Jumping around timelines is a dangerous hobby. Hmm. If you want a better chance, should you find Gaspar. Like he might be kind enough to show you how to tap into your true potential. Okay. <laughs> Stay safe. We have to go talk to Gaspar. Who are you? Oh, yes. Oh, the monolith of fate. Yep, that's the end game. We'll skip this for now. Because oh, well. it's just dialogue about it. Yeah, there's something down here. Is it over here? Yeah, here's the crafting station. Which doesn't matter for us right now. We're not going to craft at this time. Uh, go upstairs. Go upstairs. I don't remember how you go upstairs. You know, it's funny because this fucked Harpy and I up real bad. There it is. I, we, it took us so long to find the, these stairs here to go up to talk to Doofus. Like, shamefully long. Shamefully long. a little worm. It's so cute. You've woken up. That's good. I'm sure you have many questions. Yeah, like where the loot? Give me the loot. 
I see you've spoken with the armor clad The armor clad woman. She may be Bro. flippant. She looks like a she badass. Well. She might be flippant. Your potential is infinite. Infinite in strength, yet at risk of drowning in a sea of other selves. Well, let's not do that. Countless alternate versions of you have come and gone. Only this is why you can like respec and all that kind of stuff because it's like of infinite versions of you. And their power can be absorbed, given yep. a new home in you. So you can actually like harness the other versions of you. You can you can absorb their power. I have been here for a long time. Long enough for time to lose meaning. For my original self to lose meaning. I have absorbed the faded selves of too many other Gaspars to count. Okay. In the process, I've become adept at guiding the shades that flow here. If you allow me, I will guide a measure of your other selves to you. This will tie their lost fates to one which still holds hope. Well, let's do it, bro. I warn you, your will must be absolute or you will risk losing yourself to the storm. Yes, sir. Then Give me. Close your and eyes this is our mastery. We now get to be a master. Potential you wish to wield as I guide the shades to you. Time to decide. This is a big one. So um, I think, you know, I'm, like, I mean, you've been here pretty much the whole time we've been playing. Um, as well as, you know, everybody else you've all, you know, I think we've got pretty much the same crew running right now, you know? So, uh, what do you guys think? What do you think? So, Necromancer is going to be going to be pets, you know? Uh, just straight up. We get an extra skeleton. We get a skeleton mage. And we do extra damage. So, that's cool. That's cool. Warlock. We're going to get more damage based on the number of curses. So, you want to stack curses up. And then uh, you get a bunch of resistance. And you do, like, big, big beamy type attacks and stuff. Lish. Lish is all about that melee. You are the enemy. You know, it's it's more about you than your minions. Um, and uh, you get to be, you get to go into Reaper form is the big thing. Going into Reaper form and then just shredding any enemies. I played a pet class before and it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's pretty good. I liked it. I kind of want to be a Lish because I think it might be fun, but I'm very willing to do Necro and I'll do Warlock too if that's what you guys prefer. But we can only pick one. So I don't know. Any thoughts? Any thoughts? I'm kicking it over to you guys because I can play any character I want off stream, obviously. So this is, you know, what's what's feeling good? Do you like the melee? Head empty, no thoughts? That's valid. That's valid. I mean, if that's the case, I, I have no issue with picking. And I will pick. Um, we'll give it. We'll give it. A, we'll give it a few more seconds if anybody else has any thoughts, and then I will pick something. And then, and then we'll go. We'll go like look at it real quick and play with it, and then uh, then I'll probably call it. All right, I'm gonna pick Lish. And this this is the one thing you can't change. When you pick this, you're locked in. Uh, there's no way to do to do this. Um, I don't play ARPGs, so you have fun. There. Okay. I'm now a leash. So we have now unlocked Reaper form. This makes me happy. So for starters, let's um let's let's change this around a little bit. So like I want this to be my Reaper form. <clears throat> I want this to be my bone golem. And I don't know that I need skeletons anymore. I mean, honestly, long term, we're going to get out of the bone golem business anyway. Or the, the we're going to probably use the golem, but not the skellies. Like they, they we don't really need them with, as a reaper. But reaper, I'm waiting. I'm waiting just a few more seconds and it'll be done. Oh, <laughs> oh I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, my God. Look at her. Look at her. She looks so sick, dude. It lasts so long. Oh 
Oh, she summoned a Reaper, too. Oh, that's... Oh, that's the Revenant. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, she could reap the shit out of me. Happily. Oh, my God. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I think screw the skellies. Um, we're going to have to respect that skill. That means... Uh, but, you know, we also have this... Uh, what do we have? We have Spirit Plague. Did we pick another one up? No, we're going to have Infernal Shade soon. So I'm trying to figure... Oh, that's what we got. Summon Volatile Zombie. Transplant. What's that do? Creates a new body for you at the target location, then detonates your old body to deal physical damage. Instead of mana, 13% of your current health is used. So that is a no-brainer. We clearly want that skill on our bar. Um, I think... I think I think we absolutely want to continue specking this. I think we can do away with the skellies. Um, yeah, despecialize the skill. Yeah, I know it's going to hurt us. And that's okay. That's okay. So now, I definitely want Reaper form. I don't know if I can spec this. Can I? I can. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> hmm. While in Reaper form, you deal additional necrotic damage. Okay. Doubled for Reap. Okay. Or Mistress of Decay. Your health decays more slowly and you deal extra damage. Okay. You deal increased damage but have reduced healing effectiveness. Fair. Ghastly flow. You move faster for four seconds while using reap. Let's look at what the big spells you're going to get are. Like, you're going to go maybe for Grave Chill. You're going to have enough points to go for one or the other of these, basically. So you're not going to be able to get both Mercy and Undeath and Grave Chill. So, Poison Chance becomes Chill Chance. Reap Base becomes Cold. Necrotic becomes Cold. All of Reap's base damage turns to Cold. Okay. It just basically redoes everything as a cold. Mercy and Undeath hitting minions with Reap heals them for the same amount that Reap would heal you if an enemy was hit. Huh. Reap heals minions. Okay. I don't know which of those sounds better, frankly. I mean, this is the, this is the quicker path to that. I, I feel like the chill is the better one right now. So we'll do this. So we have a minimum skill level of three, um, which is why I'm, I'm respecting that one point because we don't actually need to spend that one there. So we can get these two. Uh, while in Reaper form, you have a chance to apply Mark of Death. Love that. And Reap poisons enemies, but cannot critically strike. Ooh, that's okay. I like that. And then we'll get this Venomous Coating and then we'll get Grave Chill. We'll get that pretty quickly. Okay. Um, book. I, I really want to play this though. I want. I want to at least do one thing with Reap. Done with Gasper. I take. Yep. Feel? Their oh yeah, I felt great. Don't dwell too much on it. Trust oh, he still wants me to talk to him. Shit, I, I shouldn't have come down yet. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I like this a lot. Okay, we're going to change Reap and Bone Golem out. We're going to put Reap on three. For sure. And Bone Golem will go here. Yeah, I want one big gnarly, beefy-ass pet, you know? And then the Curse is good. And this Hungering Souls, I don't know that we'll use that, really. I mean, it's good, but... What if we use the bomby zombie? Oh, wait, no, we want transplant. I want to be able to do this, you know. Go boop. The ability to teleport is huge. Okay. I see that you are still you. Yep. That strength will be necessary. If he wants us to go back to the last refuge and return to the hymn, quote unquote, from so long ago. 
and that we'll meet again. Okay. A new passive point. Back to the council chambers. So we now we got to tell young him. I thought you were wanting to end around three year time. I am. I am going to. I'm just cleaning up these last little quests, and we're gonna we're gonna call it. I'm gonna maybe duck in a zone real quick and like kill a couple monsters. I want to see Reaper form in action, but that's it. On the other hand, maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll wait on that. Let's spend that skill point. Hmm, what do we got, bro? Uh, not that. It's a passive point. I keep hitting S to do that. Oh, ooh, we get Infernal Shade in one more level. Ew. think I want that. All right, we now have Infernal Shade. Targets the enemy and all nearby enemies. Target enemy takes fire. Each enemy can only have one Infernal Shade attached at a time after five seconds, max of four. That's really good, but it's not It's not the build work. It's not the kind of build we're going for, but I really, really, really like that a lot. Gods be with you. Okay, thank you. Stay Appreciate safe. it. Thank you very much. Why yep. What can we do now? Even with both of our shards, this the Temple of Atera has the final shard. By reforming the epoch, okay. you will be able to return to your time. You are the only one. Okay, we got to go find the final shard. An old passage to the and surface. now he'll let us go through I that thing. All right. That keeps it we'll just we'll we'll duck in there real quick. We'll take a quick little peeky peek. And because uh, I want to turn into the Grim Reaper and kill some fools, and then we're gonna we're gonna probably call it. We're gonna call it because I gotta get a couple more odds and ends done. The door is sealed. Dispel that shit. There we go. The sheltered wood. Hmm. How can you have woods in a ruined era? Whoa, it's beautiful, actually. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, moist. Utterly fucking moist. Yeah, then now my 20 second cooldown begins and I do it all over again. Yeah, I can deal with that. I can fight normally for 20 seconds and then have god mode for a minute yeah 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 i think i'm quite good with that that feels lovely and honestly the skeletons not really even feeling them and nasty and I kind of love it but I kind of don't okay head back to the council chambers yeah Lish definitely the play I'm loving the reaper form I gotta get better at using it you know effectively but well I feel very good about that that was that was a lot of fun let's uh let's make sure and save we're gonna leave the game I feel uh, I feel that was that was quite a bit of fun. I really enjoyed playing that, and I want to play more for you all. I hope you guys enjoyed it because we're gonna play some more. But we're also still gonna play um, Pacific Drive. I believe is now fully released. Uh, if you remember, that was the game with the um, uh, the station wagon in the Pacific Northwest and like the weird, you know, like cryptid sealed off area, and you modified and repaired your battle wagon and made it yours and all that. There was some pretty good story going on there that sounded like it was going to go interesting places. So uh, you did very good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Um, so I definitely want to play that and see where it goes. 
Um, I got to get that still. But so we've got this. We've got that. Um, as I mentioned, Stardew's uh, 1.6 patch is imminent. It's expected sometime in the next one to two weeks, I think. Um, unofficially, unofficially, mod writers have been given um, that that warning to expect, you know, that the, the new version is going to drop in, in 7 to 14 days probably. So it's not like guaranteed that it will, but when they tell the mod writers, get your shit updated, it's a good sign that they're really confident it's going to come out. So um, PDQ, not too long for Stardew Valley 1.6, and then maybe we'll do a community farm and everybody can jump in because, you know, it's pretty fun. And Stardew, who, A, who doesn't have it? And if you don't have it, it's pretty cheap. It's a fun, easy game. Um, so anyway, anyway, yeah, let's go, let's go. Imagine eight of us. God, that'd be chaos. Um, I'll actually get out too. <laughs> Exit game. Yes. She looks. She looks kind of revolting, but kind of awesome. I love her. So yeah. Um, I, th I I had a good time. I had a great time playing with you all, and uh, I'll be back on Saturday at the usual time, and we'll get up to some shenanigans. What? I have no idea. We'll figure it out when we get there, like we always do. So thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. And uh, I'm not going to raid out today. I'm just going to just going to end. I think because uh, that's just the vibe I'm feeling for myself. Uh, and uh, I just want to go pet my dog and pet my kitty and 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 maybe have a cheese it and uh, and this and that. So I'm going to go grab a snacky. Love you all very much. I hope to see you on Saturday. Harpy will be with me and. Uh, We'll catch you, I'm sure, around the interwebs, visiting other friends and doing other things. See you soon.